Bum ba da bum bum. Bum ba ba bum. <gasps> Music pinged. Is it here? Are you finally doing this? Does this actually exist? Is this real? Is this live stream real? How do you know what you're seeing is is real? Hmm? Do you, do you know what's real? Do you know what's fake? Who knows? Do you know? Is this stream actually real? That is the true question that everyone has to ask at this point. It's not real. Hmm. What makes you think it's not real? Is it real? Is it not real? I don't know. What is real? <laughs> All right, let's let's begin the music, shall we? Telling me that's me. That's not muted. I don't care if you. Okay, you know what? Because you pointed out the fact that my mic isn't muted, I'm gonna keep it un uh, unmuted. Hear me type out. Play with a blindfold on. Yeah. Talk about chat. I get to know when the music's done. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's stream. Notice anything different? I don't. I think I think everything is just the same as it was. Everything's just the same as it was uh, when I streamed what last stream like a month ago. 
You doing good, chat? You doing good? Because I'm doing good. Oh, I'm looking at general. What is this? <laughs> okay, god damn it. So, hello everyone, welcome to today's stream. Sorry, it's been a very long time. Well, a month, it's not that long, but hey. How are you all doing? I've, uh, I've been moving house. See that behind me? I'm in a new place. And not everything's set up properly yet, because we got some- You know what? Hold on, let me do this in the meantime, real quick. Look. Okay, let me unplug this shit and move. Toro, look at him. Look at this guy. Toro's here, everyone. Check that shit out. Oh, shut up. Okay, goddammit. I swear. Dude, if you guys act up like with me, imagine if- imagine being like a fucking female streamer. You literally aren't allowed to turn around at all. Or you get GG'd. Where's the jar? Oh wait, no, that's not the jar. The jar is here. I will put the jar up here. <laughs> so there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. My creaky ch dude, it's so creaky, isn't it? Well, I'll play a, uh, I'll play shit in the background. As we, as it, because uh, today's gonna be a long intro, uh, just because um, there's a lot to talk about. So I moved house. Everything's all good. Uh, the reason why I haven't been streaming for a while is because my internet here in this specific address is absolutely garbanzo. Garbanzo, also toasty. Membership message. I saw that earlier. Uh, time of being a mem, time of being a member is. I am so brain dead. Hold on. Time I be a member for is greater than Metro's mental age. True. So yeah. Do you think this game will be great in VR? This game actually has a unfinished but playable VR mode you can enable in the in the video settings, uh, Gordy. It's interesting to say the least. Do I drink the contents of the jar? I was gonna say something. Never mind. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> It's still too late in the stream for that kind of stuff. Yo, hello. Welcome to Ruthless. Thank you for joining my man, Big Pog. What would I rate DL2 since the last time I played? Uh, 6.9 out of 10. And that's not because it's the funny number, it's because it's so close to being a 7 out of 10. It hasn't reached there yet, though. We'll see what happens with this new uh, content update come June 29th. So, uh, in regards to my new internet, we do still get frame drops. If you haven't already noticed, you'll probably notice more when we get into gameplay because it's noticeable in gameplay. My internet is not super stable. It's stable enough to for me to be confident enough to stream now, but leading up to now, it was awful. Cut out tons of frame drops all the time. It was terrible. It's still not perfect, but we'll see how it goes from now. We'll see how it goes from now. Where's Basil, my dog? He's in my bedroom. Hello from Ukraine. Hello, Raptor. But anyways, yeah. Uh, so, in regards to today's stream, what we're doing right now, we're doing a Dying Light 100% Nightmare Level 1 challenge. Which, honestly, I think is pretty simple and straightforward. I might... not. I won't get stuck or hard stuck. There'll probably be... Um, some parts will be annoying to grind out. But other than that, it should be a very straightforward run. Now, in regards to this, what is, you know, level one, you know, you know, what, what is this challenge exactly? It doesn't sound hard, which is why, which is why it's the first stream I'm doing once I come back here, you know? Uh, I do want to do some Nightrunner, by the way, as well, since Nightrunner update 5.0 came out some time ago, and I want to do that well as well. Um, worst part is to hear, yeah, that's gonna be... <laughs> so... In regards to um, this challenge here, uh, we'll be playing the entire game without spending a single skill point. So we're essentially level one crane, which includes no dodge. No boosters, no dodge, no DFA, no vaults, nothing. 
so this is going to be very interesting. Oh, I wouldn't be able to craft firecrackers either, wouldn't I? I can get them from the Quartermaster, though. I think. Wait, does the Quartermaster give firecrackers? I don't think so. I, you know what? I don't think so. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to be very frugal with the firecrackers. And to make things even harder, I'm not going to use any DLC items. Aside from, like, for example, Bozak Bow, if I complete Bozak Horde, you know? Basically nothing that's, like, given for free because it's a DLC item. So, yeah, even spice things. And no glitches. I won't be abusing the museum drop for, for uh, to here. It's going to be interesting there. Anyways. How am I? I'm doing good. Sorry for the late stream. I wanted to do it about an hour or two ago, but uh, I got caught up playing Walking Dead Saints and Sinners because I finally managed to be able to play it on PC rather than play it on my just my headset. It looks so much better on PC and runs much better. Yeah. Even without everything is easy as soon as you get rifle exactly, Olo. Does sound pretty hard? Well, I guess we'll find out because let's go and play this video game called Dying Light, shall we? Let's go do it. Let me close that. Oh, actually, no, I'll close that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put this over here. And launch Dying Light. I was about to launch Dying Light 2. No, not that game. We're not launching that game. We're launching Dying Light. There we go. Did I enjoy the hot summer? It's still hot right now, dude. It's annoying as hell. Yo, Brian, first time I caught you in live, been enjoying your dialogue content, guy videos. Thank you, man. Hope you enjoy the actual live stream itself. Is Streamlabs overlay chat not fixed? I don't believe so. We can try it. Should we try it? I'll turn it on. Let's let, let, let's let's see. Let's see if on-screen chat has fixed itself. I'll turn it on for now. Uh, let us turn up the game volume, shall we? There we go. Here in Singapore is always hot, yeah, I, I, can under, I can imagine that. What do you think will be in a new update? Um, I know what's... I know, I, I mostly know what's in the new update in regards to the parkour, because I played an earlier version of the update to give feedback to Techline for DL2, but I don't know about the night changes. Chat will die without gambling. Chat, is on screen chat working? I think it is. I think it's good for now. Are you feeling the frame drops? Yeah, you guys noticed that yet? If not, prepare for it. That's my internet in a nutshell. Alright. Finish my 100% permadeath challenge. Nice. We're doing another one, except it's not a permadeath. Oh, hold on. We're not doing that. Starting a new game. On Nightmare. Ready to race the Haran virus at the deadliest. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Who's this here? Who has just donated 20 euros? HUD activated. Hmm, it's Mr. George Oliveira. Hello, hello, hello. He says, well, 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 look when you decided to show up. Don't call, you don't write, I thought we had something special. And you think you show up and there's something to embrace you like nothing happened? Well, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Thank you, man, for the 20. No, it's in French! Big Pog. Should I put my cam lower? Like that. Yeah, because the ce you don't want to see too much of the Attention. ceiling, don't you? You're scared. Not scared. I'm Do you want prologue? <laughs> he blinked! What? He blinked again! When will I do a BDC know? Friday? Well, today is Thursday, so... Tomorrow, maybe, we'll do a BTC Friday. I don't forget about RDR2, I'm just doing this, I'm going to be continuing Red Dead Redemption 2, don't worry, uh, alongside this series here. Although this series shouldn't take too long, DL isn't that much of a long game. Welcome you slipped for two to the days like a dead man. Been cheating over all of it. I saw. Oh, hold on, sorry. Let me turn on subtitles for you guys. I don't know why it's not on. There you go. Where am I? In paradise, can't you? Why is it not in French? Okay. You want to ruin everyone's day by uh <laughs> by putting this game in French? 
What do you mean? Will I ever play Prison Heist again? Speedrun? No. Play it? I mean, I'm going to be doing a part of this regular playthrough. I've lost my interest in speedrunning. Oh, frame drops. See that chat? See, this is what I mean when I say we'll periodically experience some frame drops. Because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's going to get It shouldn't buffer, though. There are going to be frame drops. This is the best I can get my internet to. We actually mounted the Starlink on top of the uh, ceiling. Not, Not on the ceiling, sorry, the rooftop. Oh, shit. As legally as possible. And by mount, I mean we just placed it and put like a weight on the bottom so it doesn't fall off. Where do you think you're going? Is it the just me floor. or is this game Where's very this quiet right, right now? 13. Shit. That's gonna be some dirty I'll turn it up on my end. Tell me let me know if um here, huh? if you guys want the game turned up higher. Is the audio good? Console experience, yeah, I know, right? Audio is good. All right, I, I turned up on my end. Jesus, how many people died here? Will every scene be with frame drops? Unfortunately, yes. However, it should be more stable than my previous place in terms of um, it won't just die for half an hour randomly. You know what I mean? So that's the trade-off. Crane here. Do you take less damage from electricity if you have less FPS? I don't know if anything is FPS dependent in this game. I do know that the timer for Rise of the Phoenix. Oh, sorry, I'm moving my mic. The timer for Rise of the Phoenix. Uh, that is dependent on FPS. It ticks slower at higher FPS and ticks faster at low FPS. The people on console are fucked. That's Rise of the Phoenix, the Quiet Dagger Challenge, is objectively harder on console. I'm playing on a PS2. With this internet, might as well be. Oh, he didn't die from the first hit. Easy, right. easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. I don't know why I'm treating this like a speed run. I shouldn't be. You went to Mark? Is it, is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. <coughs> <coughs> An old gen. All right, because uh, current gen has got the 60 FPS patch for DL1, right? Do you call it chat? Do you call it old and current, or do you call it current and new, or do you do or do you call it new and old? You don't call it anything current. Uh, how do you differentiate between the uh, generations of consoles? Hey, loaf. See you there. Hello, hello. Old and new, old and see. We already have different, different opinions in chat. We all know there's only one right opinion, and that's mine. All right. I'm making sure I get everything. Although to be fair, I won't be able to craft that much. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. There you go. Got the extra med kit. Exploit. Current and past. Well, that's a unique way of saying it. Hey, Everyone says new and old mainly. I mean, that's fair enough. I, you. I like to say old and current. And repay you guys for what you did for me. Consoles of generations. Good. PS1, 2, 3, 4 is the mo uh, PS1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is the most obvious generations, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we were far enough in this console generation for it to be considered current. Exactly, it's not really new anymore. PS5 was like, what, two years ago? Or am I... Or is it even older than that? I don't know. I think it's even old. I think it's like 2020, right? I don't even remember at this point, to be honest. Oh my god, here we go. You need something that fits the job that he wants you to do. Alright, chat, as soon as we finish the prologue, I'll, I'll let you guys vote for the outfit we're going to be wearing. Because right now we can only wear for, like, fresh clothes. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. Yeah. Going to earn your keep. New we gen isn't exactly new if it's three years ago. So That's, bro. It's on 
on top floor. Just a couple flights Expected in 2028. And I'm expecting it to be scalped just like uh, current gen. Fucking scalping is... In, in all industries is awful. I hate scalping. Fuck those people who do that. All my homies hate scalpers. You guys hate scalpers? <gasps> uh oh. Is George gonna do what I think he's gonna do? Oh, hold on. I wanted to do the epic jump. Hold on. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh well. Dude, I haven't played this game in a while as human. I've mainly, I've mainly been playing BTZ as a hunter off stream. What is scalping? It's like when it's like you buy, let's say, if I'm a scalper, I buy ten consoles, and I and they basically buy shit in bulk to base uh, to buy everything out of stock, and then resell them at a higher value to, for profit. Forcing people to pay a higher price and it's fucking annoying. And they, and, and they do that only for profit. You know, I, I think people actually did that with the Aiden statues back when they uh, were selling the Aiden statues. Oh my god, 50 memberships. 50! Yo, can we get a pog in the chat for Mr. George Oliveira for the 50 membership nuclear bomb he just dropped? Jesus Christ. Look at everyone get their memberships. Oh, do I want to do the speed on them? Oh, fuck, I'll just do the normal route. Start dancing. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for the notification. Right? Where's... Why is it not showing up? The alert box is uh, taking its sweet ass time to show up. Dude, it's taking a while. Good job. Okay. Time for the real test. Get back to the crane. Make use of anything and everything while you Welcome run. To the okay. There we go. Oh boy, prepare for 49 more of these notifications to come because of George. You done this before? Hardly. The closest I ever came to this. Yeah, there we go. Netcho was the first one to show up by the way, so my days are in now. Never seen anything like it. What even is a membership? It's it's like uh, Twitch subscriptions. Welcome. Went wrong. It's like a monthly subscription if you want, and you get access to uh, member-only content if the creator does that, like exclusive videos and stuff like that, and live streams. But I don't really do that. I don't like cutting off some of my audience because of memberships. Uh, but you also get access to uh, posting emotes. Are there any uh, emote spammers in chat ready to go? Welcome I believe Aussie Car is one of my emotes. Aussie CD. I got some typical regular ones like Monka W, I think. Although I have a lot of 70 e TV emotes as well. Welcome to the runner zone. George's Real G got my membership from him again. Exactly. Dude, so many people. Oh my god. Oh my god. This chat. <laughs> giving me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not Welcome who I say I am. I've been spamming the emotes now. Uh-oh. <laughs> I should not have said that. <laughs> Welcome to the runner. Might even find a woman. Oh shit, I'll get rid of all this stuff. Oh hold on. Why don't I get all the outfit dockets, right? Welcome to the runner zone. Um Special Bat Last Hope King Dead Eye Bow Alternator Buggy Paint Job Welcome might as well. To the the emotes are making the stream lag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, old Welcome trusty, I remember that. Alright, let's get let's get all this shit. Fuck it. Survival kit bundle. Welcome We're not gonna be using that. I think it gives you a couple of drops and like boosters and stuff. I'm not doing that. Going outside, yeah? Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost Welcome too many to the How do you get so many different dockets? Oh. Seven years of dying light, that's hell. Either from 
events, claiming them from websites, codes, okay. Bozak, Welcome to the a so many. Oh, hold on. We are going on a loot spree, aren't we, chat? Let's do that. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Welcome to Just the runner zone. Moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Do I like bacon? I had bacon this morning. Bacon's really good. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, he was about to fall down. Oh, okay, well, he did. Luke Goblin has a working indeed. To the runner zone. I'm oh wait no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Let me eat some baklava for no reason to get some HP. I'm already maxed out. Haram, bacon. Welcome Why is poor Karam? Is it because they're dirt is it because pigs are dirty creatures or something? Like, uh can someone explain to me? I never really understood. I think it's because they're dirty creatures, right? Because pigs are fucking filthy. Doctor? That's why, okay, makes sense. Welcome Raheem, to the Sarah checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you for a while. I'm Just gonna be grabbing herbs, to even though I can't craft run. boosters, because my monkey brain wants to so, grab herbs. Welcome to the we'll running zone. Yo, B also became a member of Big Pog. But George the two. Just checking. Still, absolutely. I'm, gonna be, uh, I'm still gonna be doing RDR2 streams. I wanna, I wanna finish that game. Although it's gonna take a while to finish that game. I wanna Welcome finish the game. To the runner zone. Uh, it's just that my first stream back. I wanna jumpstart a uh, dying like series to just basically jumpstart my the algorithm back on my channel again. You know what I mean? And I thought, okay, well, well I've done 100% nightmare, and I've done level one runs why don't i combine the two why basically you have to 100 percent the game welcome to the at run. level one on nightmare why is treehouse called a treehouse if there's no tree inside the house welcome to the runner zone what i mean you build a, around trees right sometimes the tree can be inside the house depends on how you build it if a kid builds it, it's going to be uber scuffed. Welcome to the runner zone. Do I have? A, oh, here we go. What I mean by 100%? Um, the in-game 100% tracker. Although, if you own the Hell Raid DLC, it breaks it. Welcome to the runner zone. Cause fuck Hell Raid. Uh, but I'm uh, fuck Hell Raid, man. That's so boring. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I think in order to, to the make zone. the counter go to 100%, if you own the Hell Raid DLC, is just to enter and leave Hell Raid. I could be wrong about that. But the idea is we basically 100% the base game. I'm also going to be doing the following. Welcome to the runner zone. <laughs> I think I'm forgetting about that. Um, we're going to be doing the following, and um, I might as well do Birds Accord as well. Welcome to the runner zone. If you, if the park or, if the next park or update for DL2 will be good, do you think it'll make DL2 a good game? DL2 is already a good game right now, it's just not a great game. Welcome to the runner zone. Which is, which makes it a shadow of its, you know, predecessor, that being Dying Light, uh, one. There's no point in grabbing the flags, um, Welcome no to point the at all. Zone. Start Hell Raid then leave. Same with Bozak. Oh, I might do- I might save Bozak for last then, before the 100% tracker, just so I can do that. Prisons just enter then leave. Okay, Welcome. so once I beat the main game and main game, do all the side content, I'll do all of that, Olo. Enter and leave, and then we'll see how that goes. What did my dad do? Welcome to the runner what? zone. What? Uh, I, I, dude, I'm swear, I'm reading some of these comments out of context. I have no fucking idea what to say. Most Asian moment. Welcome to the runner zone. Wait, why is everyone talking about my dad now? They can make. Can they make DL2 as good as DL1 with the nighttime changes? Welcome with the nighttime changes the uh, alone? No. With the night and parkour changes? Very unlikely, but possible. 
They already mentioned Olo. Oh, I have the... I keep on forgetting. On my left, the whenever you at someone, it the entire at disappears. If I look on this side, though, I can see the at that West Station was talking to Olo. I, I hate that. Welcome to the runner zone. Okay, Olo. Well, you're French, so deal with that. Didn't they delay DLC too? Yeah, they did. Which is unsurprising, to be honest. It's just kind of funny, though, because Techland has literally delayed everything with DL2. <laughs> they delayed the main release twice, at least twice. I think they may have done it a third time, too, but I'm not 100% sure about that. They delayed Bloody Ties. Welcome to the runner's They've basically, like, they mentioned they were going to do Chapter 3. I haven't seen that at all. They haven't even mentioned that in the past year or so, <laughs> six months. Uh, and now they delayed DLC too. Welcome to the runner's zone. Okay, here we go. Spiker. All right, you'll see. Before you head out there, Welcome grab some firecrackers. The Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. You're poor with the two. Why did you disable gambling? I did. Wait, hold on. Is the bot not working right now? Hold on. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Welcome to the runner zone. Really? Streamlabs bot hasn't said anything at all this whole time, right? All right. Welcome. Let me do that. Uh, you know, I'll do that while I ha I'm on the GRE call. It's like a waste of time. Everyone wants Gamba. I mean, it's just points Gamba, so that doesn't matter. Speaking of Gamba, with the incredible offer, um, I did actually consider. Well, I am considering dual streaming to YouTube and Kick. Um, just so I can earn a living better, <laughs> but, um, I don't think my internet can handle dual streaming. I'm gonna have to figure out, like, a reliable dual streaming service, because I, I don't want to leave YouTube at all. But I do want to try out, um, hold on, sorry, hold on. Cloudbot. Oh, Cloudbot was turned off. Why were you turned off? Okay, Cloudbot is on, let's see. Try gambling your points now, or do a Streamlabs command. Making fire takes time. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, Episode. You know what? I, I realize I don't know why I'm collecting all this. The 90% of this is completely useless because I won't be able to level up any skill. But the inner loot goblin in me cannot accept that fact, and I have to loot it anyway. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Craig. Why won't you die? Cut G um, what do I want to get rid of? Also, I have hints turned on right now, don't I? Let me turn that off real quick. Oh no, they're off. Okay. Um, yeah, this is almost broken. Might as well get rid of it. Is this four pint here? Go get the blue one from you. There we go. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. He didn't stay human. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> How excited are people on a scale of one to ten for the dialect to? Ah shit. There you go. For the dialect two update coming, the parkour and night changes. You know what? No, no, don't s don't answer. I'll, I'm gonna rephrase my question. Do you think? Hmm, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah. How excited are you for DL2? Because Crane here. I, I can't give my opinion since I've played an early version okay, of it already. But I want to see what chat thinks. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer. A skeptical five. His name is Zera. Considering how the go update went, my expectation went, my expectations are very low. Secondary objective. Yeah. Do a poll. 
really nice not going to focus more on parkour from the name. Still takes top priority, yeah. Right? I mean, I understand that the whole thing is like ton and cheek, but yeah. Also, since it's a level one run chat, we cannot do any of this. Might bust if good. Jade, it's done. Low chance of it being good, but if it is good, uh, I'd give Techlan um, a, a deserved hand of applause if they actually deliver on this, though. Chat, what do you want more? What, what do you prefer? Um, them to do right in this update the parkour changes or the night changes how do you redeem stuff on console are you talking about dockets link your account to techline gg and then the they your dl1 rewards should show up as dockets both you can't say both okay both answers are not allowed you're banned if you say both if you had to choose one Okay, the important thing that I do loot is gauze though, because I can actually craft med kits. Hardcore. You know what? Let me pull that actually. Uh, start a poll. Uh, are you looking more forward to the parkour or night changes in DL2? Parkour. Night. There we go. There's the poll. DL2 is unfixable. You know what? I'm almost of that opinion as well. Unfixable in the way that I don't think, like unfixable in the way that like DL2 has sort of lost this opportunity to become a great game, but I don't think that yet. I, I think once DLC2 comes out, that'll be the definitive moment for Dying Light 2. Because that's probably the last major update that the game will ever get. Like, last truly major. Uh, I'm sure they'll still update with, like, community updates and hit that here and there. But, like, DLC 2 is, like, the make or break for DL2, I think. I'm surprised that a lot of more people saying parkour. Because I think one thing that unifies the majority of, of, um, DL2 criticizes is the fact that, um, Night is, like, one of the weakest parts of the game right now, you know? Unlike this game. This game's Knights is really good. DL1. King of Knights. Got an enforcer there. I just realized, with these two here, can you do these two? without doing this one and it will trigger the checkpoint because we always seem to do this one first and then you do either one of them like because you only need to activate one of these right well that's because you activate um three coming here so i wonder if you can actually activate just that or, or just these two without activating that one and it, and it triggers the uh quest <laughs> i, I want to test that out next time DL1 made me want to complete everything, but the parkour in DL2 okay, made me hate the game. The more hurry. of a drag, like the sights are beautiful, but it's a pain to get anywhere in terms of parkour. I agree. That and the fact that the glider, which is a mandatory item to be given and used by the player. Um, <laughs> it's so fucking ever powered. It is more broken than a DL1 hook. Let me uh, discover stuff title for the memes. Looks like the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Ugh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation here. Go check it out. <laughs> oh, talk about timing now. Almost missed up on that. Come on, give me some med kits, med kits, med kits, med kits, med kits. You want arena mode? Dude, I have no idea why Bloody Ties didn't have a horde mode. It's like the perfect setting for a horde mode, and they don't have one. Like, what? What are they actually thinking?
Oh, actually, let me go here. Uh, I will bait you guys over here because I want to loot this police van. Glider should break and need repairing. I don't think it should break. I think they should remove the boosting fart ability that Aiden does, and I think it should use up way more stamina. And to make a balance so it's not dog shit early game, I think they should make it so it uses percentage stamina. So even if you've maxed out inhibitors with stamina, it still drains the same speed as if you as if you got it for the first time early game. Got a payday to add on YouTube. It knows. YouTube knows. Hardcore's very lacking and you can't do moves and combo stuff feels janky. Knight, I can say I can say in a chase until the morning without any skills to tell about it is. Yeah. Oh my god, speaking of fucking skills, this fucking Bider, early game Bider's DL1, an absolute joke, man. I tell you what, though. Never mind, I'm also. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know why a lot of these um, but, uh, zombies are like uh, shirtless and everything, especially since these aren't even near the coastline. Like, if they were... Imagine if zombies... You know what? There's so many small changes that Dying Light could have to, like, really increase quality of life, right? Imagine the type of zombies you see is completely locational-based. I know that's also, I know that's actually true with, like, construction zombies showing up in the gassed-up area, for example, right? But imagine if, um, you actually had different zombies showing... Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna kill this guy. But imagine if, uh, zombies, uh... Add different stuff based on location, you know? Snipers. People actually ask for snipers in this game. Alright, I'm gonna end the poll. It is a 60-40 ratio of parkour tonight. Am I excited to play, play Payday 3? Welcome to the runner zone. Um, I mean, if it's free, I play it. Or if it's on uh, Game Pass, I play it, yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> Climb Mike with a 10 month membership message saying, The grammar guy is back? Indeed I am. Hello, hello, sir. What kind of challenge is going on today? I'm playing Dying Light. Level 1, meaning I cannot, up I cannot upgrade any of my skills, including the dodge skill, which is the most important skill in the game, I think. And I'm playing on Nightmare, got a 100% of the game. Obviously not all t in today's stream, it's going to be a multi-part series, but, um, still. This year is so packed, dude. I'm, any, uh, Warhammer fans in chat? I, I just, I, I uh, I downloaded, um, <gasps> I got a king, no way. I, I got a, um, I, I got, uh, Warhammer 40k bolt gun today. Uh, downloaded. And I also am very excited for Space Marine too. There's also Payday 3. Um, am I going to stream RDR 2 again? Yes, I almost just jumped off and game ended myself. Wow. <laughs> Using the throw skill challenge only? That'll be funny. Okay, grab hubs for no reason. Chat, should I kill the goon? Should I kill the goon or ignore him? Phantom Liberty? Um, I think Phantom Liberty is going to be a game I play off- well, uh, the DLC for Cyberpunk is going to be a game I play off stream. I didn't stream my first playthrough of, uh, Phantom Liberty. Everyone's saying no! I thought you would want me to kill the goon. Wow. Boring chat, right? Spare his life? You know what? He did nothing wrong. He was a construction worker in his life. And, uh, right, well, he's still alive, technically, reset. but even as infected, he, uh, you know what could happen again, right? he's dedicated to his craft of holding the, uh, the hammer. Spare his useless life. <laughs> Don't need to be that harsh. He's just doing his job, man. He's a construction worker. He needs to build. The first time, like, so much better than the second? Yes, I would agree with you. Absolutely. And it's not just because Dying Light has had seven years of support. 
uh, I would say Dying Light 1 on release is a better game than current DL2. That might be a hot take, but I stand by that. And you have to consider that release Dying Light 1 means no gold weapons, no multiple difficulties, just normal, no new game plus, Obviously no Bozo Core, no following, and I still think it's better, absolutely, because all the core mechanics are there. And you know what, you know what grinds my gears? When people say that Dying Light 1 is only good because of the seven years of support. My man. My man. You can tell it's either pe people who say that have either never played it and only played Dying Light 2, or they have only recently gotten into Dying Light 1. If anyone has played from Dying Light 1 since launch, you would know that you would always like this game. His ass did not play release, exactly. And you were like, oh yeah, but Dying Light 1 was buggy in launch. Yes it was, nothing like DL2 though. And I would say, in terms of bugs, DL1 bugs are basically... DL1 release bugs are as bad as the current state of DL2 bugs, I think. Mm, maybe a little bit worse. But bugs are bugs. In terms of content, oh boy. Okay, give me a sec. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, I am making sure I'm playing on single player. Thank you very much. No game breaking or bad bugs. I can't think of it. Were there any game breaking bugs on the release of Dying Light 1? I never experienced any, but I'm not saying they didn't exist. Uh, I just don't remember them. I don't remember anyone talking about it, though. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, dude. What do you think about guns being added to DLC 2? Uh... I think it's a waste of time, they shouldn't do it. Yes, you did, Mr. Fear, Mr. Night Runner Man. Oh, sorry, Mr. DLR Man. Oh, Mr. Deathcore Man. Crane, using push. He's alive. But you need to get back to the um, tower. Jay called all the scouts. Plane pipe, alcohol, lockpick, medkit. Medkit med is the important part. Uh, I should purposefully kill myself so I can, um, loot. The reason- okay, no, okay, don't take that out of context. Okay, the, um, the reason why I say that is because, uh, enemies in this game scale with your survivor level. And if I keep my survivor level as low as possible, um, then I'll get lower tier enemies. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm when alpha change. Good point, I'll do it now. As soon as you go up into the tower. In game chat, okay? I mean game and myself in game. You know, speaking of game ending, one of my DL2 streams from like my first playthrough ages ago um, got demonetized because of, um, what's his name? You know the guy who like, you have to convince him to not game in himself, right? From the top of the bazaar. I forgot his name, right? But because he game ends himself, I got um, limited monetization on my channel because of, you know, <laughs> Suicidal themes. Okay, dude, sure. It's a video game, but whatever. Yeah, actual bro moment. You're cast, 22 months. Good to have you back, Muppet. Fuck you too, cast. Hello, man. <laughs> uh, get rid of that. 28, 23, 24. You know what? I'm going to get rid of anything that's not 30. Rip. Get this pipe. See, look at this pipe meta chat. All right, let's see. So in terms of blueprints, what can I craft that's not DLC? I can do the old trusty. And that's from what? A pipe, the blue pipe wrench. That'll be my best weapon in the game. Let's do that. We'll be happy as hell to see you in one piece. The one piece is real. Let's put an enforcer on there. <laughs> Should I put a king on this? Nah, let's do that. All right. There you go, 137 damage. Woo! Uh, do I want to do anything? Let's buy some stuff. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Um. 
Might as well buy all that. You can't trust anyone. Oh, shut up, Ollo. Weapons like Ranger Burn and Mates Kiss will be OP on your survival level 1, which is why I'm not using any DLC items. Brecken's mission failed. Uh, the meeting in the town. Your trustee is a bit of a weird exception because it's like one of those shitty low tier things that you can apply on anything. It's not something that's like super overpowered or carry you. And it's not DLC, it's like something from like the old Genly um, website if anyone remembers that. Look. Gemly was like the old um, Techland GG before Techland GG existed. Why do I like Dying Light 1 more than 2? Um, the, dude, I can talk about this for hours, but I think the main aspects, which I won't elaborate because I don't want to waste anyone's time. Um, parkour. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I think parkour is better in Dying Light 1. Um, night gameplay is so much better. The combat in regards to the gore and physics and hit reactivity is better. Um... The RPG mechanics in DL1 are simpler and less RNG based. Um, I actually think the story is better, but like that's not really much of a selling point. Here, like both stories are here. trash. Help me! Tell me what's are you No, no, I took anti weapons. Feel better. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours, as well as. All right, I'm gonna do Dawood's quest later, though. I'm not doing it right now. Did I move? Yes, I moved house. That's why I haven't been streaming for a while. Hello, hello. Also, let's do Mother's Day. No, it's uh, good night, Mr. Bahir. Here we go. Oh, I have picked up the fake Anderson. Here we go. It's first yeah. people can tell. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. Not being able to skip cutscenes in DL2. Did you get him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. Uh, because in DL1, in order to replay, if you want to replay the game over and over again, you can just skip everything like I'm doing right now. In Dialect 2, though, you have to engage by actively choosing every single dialogue option and make every single choice yourself, which is a trudge. Very, very, very annoying. I went the wrong way. Uh, I, it, it should be left-hand side. Oh, well. Let's play some checkers. Yeah, there's a couple of unconscionable cutscenes in DL1, like the museum, mostly the museum stuff, and the awakening cutscene, and 13th floor in the prologue. That's about it. Cold take, but I believe the following has the best story in all three stories. Yeah, uh, the following is the least worst story in Dying Light, <laughs> which is a low bar to clear, but hey. What about Easter eggs? Oh yeah, the Easter egg, okay. The Easter egg mechanics in Dying Light 1 are better than 2. Um, Dying Light 2 has some fun Easter eggs, right? But dude, Dying Light, sorry, Dying Light 2 has some funny Easter eggs, but dude, Dying Light 1 has way more high effort Easter eggs. Like, dude, there's an entire, um, um, there's an entire, uh, segment under the map of Old Town just for a Mario Easter egg, right? And the Plants vs. Zombies Easter egg, but there's an entire map that, segment of the map dedicated to it, right? Yeah, I'll bet. Oh no, there's the Doom stuff in DL2. No, never mind. I take that back. The Doom stuff in DL2 is really high effort, actually. Ignore what I said. Alright. Alright, understood. Okay, hold on. I need to grab more of these. Have I played Sons of the Forest? No. I might play it when it fully releases. Right now, it's still in like. Early access development shit, right? Um, I swear, isn't there another thing somewhere? Or is there only two? Maybe there's only two. Isn't like the only one? Um, I mean, there's the broomstick and the. See, I think that the 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 items, right, are pretty damn good. Like the experience, right? Like the bro the the boomstick, the broomstick, and the hoverboard. Are um, really interesting, but in regards to um, 
Can I? Why can't I ragdoll you? Okay, whatever. In regards to um, the actual mechanics, like in DL1, all the oh, well, ninety percent of the um, Easter equipments are overpowered as fuck, right? But they're disabled a nightmare for that balance, right? In DL2, all the all, like ninety percent of the um, Easter egg items are shit. They're shit. Like, Korok V3, introducing bloody tires, does what, like, 40 damage? Like, what? What is up with that? Like, why? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll just, I'm sure. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. We've got the visitor. <laughs> Alright, let me, uh... Put on me. Okay, I fucked up, but I can use... This guy is busy with zombies. If I knock them into... Ah, uh, he was- he was- he was busy with zombies, not anymore now. Okay, hold on, he's close enough to the fire. If I bait them close enough to the fire, I can knock them into it. Oh yeah, the weapon repair system is absolute dog shit. I don't know why there's no re weapon repairing in this game, in, uh, d in DL2. There you go, he's dead. Remember chat, your body is a weapon in Dying Light 1. Too bad it isn't in DL2. Because physics is an, always a nice weapon to use in video games. Unfortunately, not the case here in uh, DL2. And there we go. Now this guy is 1v1ing an army on his own, so I'm gonna I'm let him just die to the zombies. It's already over time. Let me, uh, pick up these weapons. Yeah, exactly. So instead of, you know, you know like, Tech Clan, I don't know what's up with uh, modern Tech Clan and nerfing fun in a PvE game, just for the sake of balance. You're able to, uh, glitch in the, the broomstick and, and, and the, uh, Kadoom shotgun, right? Uh, in DL2, but now you can't. They patched that. They went out of their way to patch that. Why? I don't think there's a good reason at all why. I don't think anyone can give a justified reason as to why they did that. It makes absolutely no sense. Alright. This guy is somehow tanking everyone. How is he not dead yet? Let's see how many, uh, how many, uh, oh! There you go. Easy. Alright. Safe zone unlocked, easy peasy. Lena, it's Crane. Yes. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Good work, Crane. That's a big idea. B613 region, what the fuck is that? I'm fine, but what the fuck is that? that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Good night, good luck update. Now if he comes back, I'm gonna have a word with him. Uh, well, it still hasn't come out yet, so... We'll see when it actually fully releases, if it's good enough. Oh, hold on. I've almost fully leveled up. Why don't I game in myself, so I lose all my survivor points? Although, at the same time, I cannot be asked to do that. If I bait you guys up here, oh no, never mind. Actually, I don't need to do that. There you go. You know, I'll die like play if you haven't done this at least once in your life.
I think it's a good time to glitch, to use the glitch weapon and level up legend levels before the night update. Maybe. Oh yeah, speaking of legend levels, the legend levels are dog shit in DL2. I don't know what the- why- what, like... There's so much to talk about, let's not talk about DL2 chat. Come on, let's focus on the, the good game that is DL1. How am I feeling? I am feeling good. A little sad that I started late today, right? Because it's already 10 p.m. my time. And I'm gonna end around like 1 a.m., but I mean, that's fine. Have I play tested the new night or only the new parkour? I've only play tested the new parkour stuff. For the purpose of giving feedback so they can improve the update even further. Don't worry, we're back. Uh, that's my internet in a nutshell, chat. It is what it is. That's the best... Best, uh, thing we could do. Eng English internet moment, yeah. Well, you, sir, are going into these spikes. Aussie GG jump scare. Oh, wait. On-screen chat isn't working anymore, is it? Hold on. When did that break? Because I turned it on a while ago, but... I'll turn it on again. There you go. I, I, I reset on screen chat. Let's see. <sighs> My thoughts on air strafing for DL1 would it have a major impact if it didn't exist. Uh, yes. If air strafing didn't exist in DL1, ooh, that would have really hurt the game. That would have been a huge detriment to the game. Air strafing in DL1 is absolutely fantastic, and I love it. On screen chat broke five minutes after I turned on. Well, that's that's good to hear. <laughs> Ready for it, chat? Mama ain't happy. Nobody happy. So you better make Mama happy. There we go. <laughs> Don't argue with Gozi. He doesn't work. <laughs> Hello, Persona. It's nice to see all these familiar faces. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It, it, I have to say, life has been kind of weird not streaming every day. It's like I've been interacting with all you guys, all these familiar names. I wouldn't say faces because I don't know you yeah, guys IRL, but like, uh, you know, all these familiar names that we've talked to all the time. Um, and then I'm just not talking to them anymore. It's kind of weird. It was a weird experience, but now we're back. Normalize air strafing. I agree. Normalize hating DL2. Oh, that's fine. You can like DL2. After all, I, I do think it's a 6 out of 10 game. Doesn't deserve any more than that, though. Where's my SMG ammo? Fear. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move away the claw hammer. Please baton meta. Am I on Sparker? Wait, is that the are you, is that a reference to the DL2 dating um thing? Son of a bitch, not now. Charlie. Gotcha. You know my face and you don't like it? Shut up. You're Egyptian. <laughs> Easy. No, it's in French. Uh, we are getting. There we go. We are not getting the floor ones. Um, here we go. Yo, fusion, my man. So wait, shut up, man. God damn it! <laughs> I'm so impressed. God damn it! I am not playing Roblox. I mean, to be fair, I've seen a lot of the uh, Roblox games, right? That like a like. Because you could basically almost do anything in Roblox, right? It's crazy. I've seen like, there's like a FNAF game that's, that people play. There's uh, Doom, there's Halo. There's so much shit you can do. But um... I mean, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I will one day. 
You know that Kabakazi can spawn in the fourth level of chase? Uh, are you talking about the bomber? Yeah, has my bomber? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that for a long time though, because I never was able to get to a level 4 chase, because you either kill them too quickly or you die. Roblox DL1. I think someone's done that. I think someone's done that. No, you know what I saw? I think Netra, was it you who linked it to me? Or someone linked this to me. It was Dying Light 2 E3 trailer, but remade in Roblox. Netra, I think you linked it to me. <laughs> on screen chat, jump scare. Do you want me to turn it off? The on screen chat? Yes? Here's your movie and your chocolates. Wait till mom see this. Oh, Cass, I hate that heart. I don't know why that it's right next to the thing. It's fucking annoying. All right. Okay, then I'll just let myself in through the roof. Tic Tac's the most useless skill in the game. I would argue it's very, very useful. I would say that I'm going through them now because I don't think there's any bad skill in this game, unlike DL2. Um, I would say... You know what? Funnily enough, apart if BTZ didn't exist, Dropkick would be actually one of the most useless abilities in the game. It's just... Uh, it's fun for the meme, right? But in terms of actual mechanical use, it's not really that useful. Um, I would say Le Leg Breaker is up there as one of the uh, worst ones. Or... Hmm... Yeah, what, what app is 6 said? Tic Tac's only bad because you don't know how to use it. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Blast. I would say Blast just because multi throw is decent because you can, I guess, and melee throw is fantastic, but uh, throwing weapons in this game and vanilla Dying Light are awful. Drop it can be used to te cheese to here. I guess so. I never use it on him though. Can't use it here anyway. Remote control? Nah, remote. Uh. Remote control is pretty good, and we're talking about, um, base game, not the following, you know? Tic Tac is a good skill, though. You can climb higher heights, you could chain it with, uh, the parkour. My only, my only issue with Tic Tac is that it's on the same bind as, you know, holding, as, as the button that you hold to grab the ledge. Right? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, leg break is one shot against virals. That's, like, the only real use. For some reason, I don't know why you can't break... You can't leg break humans. I've never been able to do it. Who is excited for Starfield? I unironically am, after seeing the shit that they did at the Xbox Showcase. I did not give a shit about, uh, about Starfield until I saw that. I was like, wow, you know what? All the RPG systems in Starfield actually look phenomenal. Like, that actually looks like a really good RPG game. Uh, I never thought I would be excited for Starfield, but I am. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Now these, what is the... Hold on. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the elemental shield, Right? Maybe the elemental shield is the most useless one. Because I don't think... I don't think there's any actual mechanical worth in the shields outside of... Um, uh, human combat, I guess. But like... Once you... There's so much more stuff you could... You have at your disposal that the shield's almost useless, you know? Um, elemental shields, even more so. Because the base shield's good enough. Well, BTZ did exist with it, but hey. Can I? Okay. Um, so, I am Gunslinger. Oh, speaking of, I should go. Okay, hold on. I see chat is jump scaring too much. I'll turn it off. Uh, let me know if you want me to turn on on screen chat again, but I turned it off because it, it lags out too much and then just jump scares everyone there. So, if it's going to be one of the, those games that launch with a ton. Oh, absolutely. It's a Bethesda game. Um, I, 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 I'll be surprised if it, if it actually releases polished. It's not going to. 
it's going to be buggy as hell. Lucky repair? Nah, lucky repair is kind of nice, though. Come on. Lucky repair is nice for DL, because, like, um... Because it just saves you from, you know, having to look for a blue shield if it prolongs the life of the weapon, basically. Gunslinger, call a Juarez bundle. <gasps> I have to say that the actual gameplay of um, Starfield looks kind of mid as fuck, like the, like the combat and stuff. But I mean, that's expected. Fallout 4. Like, Bethesda games, their combat haven't ever been their strong suits. It's more so the RPG elements. And I'm talking about Bethesda Game Studios, not Bethesda Publishing, because obviously it's they they, they uh, Bethesda published um, Doom, but it's developed by id. Yeah, exactly. It's RNG, so yeah. Six pistol ammo. That's not bad. Actually, that's pretty good RNG. Six six rounds. All right, I can make do with that. Uh, isn't there a zombie statue here? Where is it there? Now, you also know what's going to carry me a little bit, just a little bit here, is uh, going to be the EXP caliber. Now, I won't be able to unlock power attack, so it's going to be useless when it goes to power attack, but... But, 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 I will be able to uh, use the first six hits with it as uh, somewhat reasonably good damage. And if I'm brain dead, I can also craft more of it if I wanted to. Well, that four was better. Better than what? I think Fallout New Vegas is the best Fallout. In fact, it's probably my favorite RPG behind um, uh, behind Project Zomboid, only because Project Zomboid is like the perfect sandbox game for me. I mean, even then, you could just say, like, well, Minecraft is an RPG. So I guess, yeah, Project Zomboid isn't an RPG. You can RP in it, though, real hard. But, yeah, I so, say, yeah, New Vegas is the best um, RPG game for me. Can we say Legend Levels as well? What do you mean by that? Combat looks vastly improved from Fallout 4. We saw a lot of uh, new animations and improved ragdoll. Yeah, but it's not really a high bar to clear. Like, like Fallout 4 had passable gameplay. You know? I feel like the slow-mos and the gore with the impact and everything and like the crits were like sort of carry the satisfaction of the gameplay, you know? Oh, most use of skill. Oh, most use of legend skill will be two-handed damage then. Two-handed weapon damage, for sure. Do you play vanilla or modded New Vegas? I play vanilla. Um, mainly because I hate using Nexus. Um, Nexus bricked my Fallout 4 game one time. Um, when I tried installing a Space Marine arm, a power armor mod. So, fuck that. Uninstalled it, never used Nexus ever again. Yeah, New Vegas doesn't need mods. It's fantastic as its own, surprisingly. You like Fallout 3 more? The world actually feels messed up with the tunnel system and it's all just invisible walls that kills me. Yeah, the weird invisible walls in Fallout 4. Um, I have to say the Metro system in 3 is nice, but it does get very copy-pasty. New Vegas sort of falls victim to that a little bit as well, but it's more bearable there. I never use Nexus again. Like, the Nexus app or whatever you download on your computer. I don't know what it's called. You know what I mean, though? Like, I, I know you can download, like, files directly from Nexus, but I mean, like, the actual app or whatever you call it. Dude, my first experience of uh, Fallout was playing Fallout 3 on the P PlayStation 3. That was good. I think that was my first PlayStation 3 game, too. That was really good. That and the first Resistance game. Vortex mod manager. That was it, probably, yeah. Yeah, I used the uh, Vortex because I had no idea what I was doing when regards to modding, so I basically followed like an online step-for-step -step guide for like 
in so many mods in Fallout 4 and I use Vortex and I break my save. So I just switch back to vanilla and never use it again. Come on, show me the money. There you go. And I'm not gonna get the blueprint. Oh, should I get the blueprint? I'll get the blueprint. Fuck it, why not? Uh, 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 uh. Get rid of the that. You excited for the Night Parker update? Moderately so. Um, it, I'm gonna be happy that DL2 is getting better, but I mean, like, it's nice. It's clawing its way up from such a deep, deep fucking hole, dude. It has so much. So, so long, so much to do before getting into like a really good spot. That I can compare it to DL1 in a in a fair way, dude. Yeah, I have to say, uh, Fallout 4 Death Claws. Like, I like the design, but mechanically speaking, the Death Claws in New Vegas are absolutely terrifying with the way they just sprint at you, right? Whereas in like Fallout 4, they try to be very fancy with their dodges and everything. It's like, but they're very slow. Whereas in New Vegas, they sprint at you like a Formula 1 racing car and they just insta-gib you. Like, that's utterly terrifying to see a creature that big running at you that fast. So chat, so we have Starfield this year. We have Payday 3. F and for me, we have uh, uh, Space Marine 2. Oh, I forgot about this uh, little box here. I keep forgetting about this one. This is probably my, my least visited drop in the whole game. Um, and we have Payday 3 of Space Marine 2. Um, we have, uh, Starfield, I just mentioned. What else are we excited for this year? <laughs> Alan Wake 2? <laughs> I wish I was excited for that, but I'm kind of not because I literally gave up. I, I, there are not that many games I stopped playing because I just, I absolutely find it annoying to play. Alan Wake was as one of the what, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, yeah, Alan Wake is one of the few games that I actually stopped playing because I hated the gameplay. I love the story, hate the gameplay. Phantom Liberty DLC, yep. I might reinstall Cyberpunk for that. Good first-person dinosaur game. One of my first Xbox 360 games was Turok. And I'm not talking about the OG Turoks, I'm talking about the one that came out on Xbox 360. Um, I actually really like that game a lot. Looking back on it, holy shit. It looks, it doesn't, it does not age well. Uh-oh. Ouch. Lords of the Fallen remake. I've heard, uh, I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. I have to play Lego Batman. I think the last Lego game I played was the Lego Star Wars trilogy. Oh, I should not have used that durability. Oh well. some coffee spider-man 2 yeah i'm not really a spider-man fan but i mean if you are then that that, that, that game looks really that game looks really good if you're a spider-man <laughs> fan like yeah if horizon forbidden west comes to pc will i play it yes because i played uh zero dawn I, I i can't really put my finger on it i like don't get me wrong i think zero dawn is a great game and i like it but it feels very i don't know any other word other than mainstream. It feels like you're so... It feels like the, like a very safe, bog-standard mainstream game when it, when it comes to aesthetics and mechanics. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like a weird sensation they get when playing it. You know what I mean? I feel like the gameplay loop of killing dinosaurs and using the freeze uh, elementals is what carried the game for me. That and the mystery of what the fuck happened to humanity. Generic? Yeah. But in a way that I don't think it's bad. You know what I mean?
I don't think it does anything groundbreaking or inspiring at all. Um, I don't know how to describe it, dude. Dialogue cutscenes? I mean, yeah. At that point, I, I think near the end of my playthrough, I just started skipping them. So much dialogue. Also, I realized I went to the top before going to the bottom. Oh well. Any plans on continuing RDR2? Yes, sir. Wait, did someone play, play did someone say I should play gold? Oh shut up, Rubiri. God damn it. <laughs> that game looks awful, and I'm not even a Lord of the Rings fan, so I wouldn't like even like all like the key jangling references wouldn't please me. Speaking of Lord of the Rings games, though, I played uh, Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War, both of them. Oops, sorry, I put my mic there. Both are excellent games. Uh, I think I can... And I can definitely say that both uh, Shadow of Mordor and War take heavy inspiration from the Arkham games of the combat. Holy shit, looking back at it now. Play some Nautica? Um, I have played some Nautica, 100%ed it. Same with Below Zero, except Below Zero I did it on stream, but uh, the base games of Nautica, I did it before, um... I completed some Nautica, the, the first one, before I, I even started my streaming career. Forspoken, shut the fuck up. Wait, that came out this year, though, right? It feels like it's been so long. Or is it just me? I feel like it's been- I feel like this year? Half this year's been so long. I don't know why. I could be completely wrong about that take, though. I'm gonna die here. Never mind, he's done. See how they bounced off each other as they fit through that doorway? And as they ragdolled there? My god, that's a satisfying uh, gameplay right there. The way that the physics of this world react to all your player input is just so fucking good. Alright. This one. How was the moving? I hurt my back really badly, actually. It was sore for like two weeks, uh, because I didn't carry it properly, carry it, uh, a box properly. Um, but other than that, went well. Internet of our new place isn't too solid, as you can tell by the uh, frame jumps we get every now. Oh, just as I say it, just as I talk about it, we get bad FPS. Oh boy. See what I mean? That's what I mean, chat. <laughs> I jinxed it. I think I think that it, it happened right as I was talking about it, right? Hey, Fathroth. I didn't even realize it was you saying that. My man. <laughs> Did I know there are candies in DL2? Well, like, as items? Um, yes, that was from the Christmas event. I... Yeah, and they were used to spend them as tokens at the... Zombie in the bazaar. I remember that from the Christmas event. You know what? I'm gonna just... Poke you guys out here. You don't get that in DL2! Something so si well, it's not simple to program mechanically, but in terms of, like, the actual player experience, that's something so simple. I am dead. <laughs> first, I was thinking about reading this comment first. Okay, well, shit. There we go. I know I said earlier, like, let's not talk about DL2, but I, I can't stop molding about DL2. God damn it.
Dude, I'm gonna be, uh, um, 100 HP for the whole game too, so I'm very squishy. You see anything about the pocket update? Or Timon is sniping you with a gun? I have a red dot on my head. And the front, back, and both sides from four different snipers. They're all hiding in my walls. I can't say anything about it. I'd be interested to know what they've changed since I've played it though. I want to see what the final product looks like compared to the version I played. Of the uh, parkour update. Timon Snipe Tala. Just playing the game reminds you constantly how DL2 is the worst game. Yeah, it's hard to not compare because, well, one's a sequel of another and they're, and they're very similar to each other. With some core differences. It's too, it's too steep. Let's just get... You know what? Let me aggro everyone. And try not to get grabbed. Aggro everyone. Come over here. Yo, one. You live under my bed. Well, I actually have no space under my bed. Because it's where... My bed is on like a... Like a weird thing like this. Instead of like being stilts like that. It's like a thing. It's like a whole block of wood that's hollow. And it's used for storage. So... You're in there, man. Stuck in there. I will not. I will not let you free. One. <laughs> Have I played going up? I uh, no. I actually watched XQ XQC finish it last night, though. I hate those kind of games, though. I'll never play them. I would never ever play them. Look at zombies tripping over uneven ledges because they're advanced. Well, their brains aren't advanced for advanced locomotion, and that's why they trip. Because they're dum dums. Surely DL2 will have this system. Did you, did you hear they patched B-hopping? What? They patched... Wait, no. What? They patched B-hopping in Dead Island 2? No fucking way. Can some verify that? <laughs> nah. Ain't no way, dude. They didn't? Alright. Ban him for lying. I'm joking. Will I consider playing Mad Max after RDR 2? You know what? Yes, because I actually own Mad Max and I should actually play it. I actually, I, I actually am ex semi-excited to play it too. Oh, that was a DL2 moment for a sec. Oh my god, one more bozo here. What are you doing? You know what? Me when I see women. For legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> Brewberry says they did. Shut up. I don't know who to trust now. Well, I either trust a Frenchman and an Egyptian or random chat people. Have you seen the Payday 3 trailer? Yes. The music was really good in it. <laughs> is Dead Island 2 good? I have heard mixed reviews on YouTube and haven't played it yet. Dead Island 2 is a very simple and straightforward game that achieves what it sets out to be perfectly. However, it doesn't- it's not a deep game doesn't have deep RPG mechanics or a good story, but it doesn't advertise any of that, right? I would still call it one of the best games of the year so far, though. <laughs> There's a biter with the viral spawn. Because it basically... It, it's, an, it's a no-nonsense fun hack-and-slash game. Right? Uh, the uh, only gripes are some things uh, that are quality of life that need to be improved, which I'm sure they will in the next coming months. Any excitement for Starfield? Yeah, I just, we had, a, I had a tangent a few minutes ago about it, yeah. Um, I used to not care about Starfield, 
And now I'm actually really excited after the Summer Games Fest Xbox Showcase thing. We'll play a Dying Light board game. You know what? I kind of want to. I don't know how expensive it will be though. That's the thing. Or maybe if Techland's really nice, they'll give me a free one. But uh, I, I'm not gonna, you know, hold out for hope. Oh, pistol ammo! Thank you. I need that. This is why you search police fans. Oof, Stark, why, why oof? I, I really like Starfield. Well, the concept of Starfield. We don't know how it'll actually release, but hey. YouTuber privilege. Hey, it is what it is. It's all supply and demand. YouTubers bring more people into the fold in regards to entertainment, with the content, right? While, um, so companies fund provide for youtubers to be able to bring more people into the fold it is it's just how it is and that's why they always do it to big youtubers too rather than just small um that's why they make docket deals or sponsor people like 8-bit ryan even pewdiepie for dl1 back in the day anyone remember that when pewdiepie played dl1 on, i want to do the funny with the zombie Stand the fuck up! Oh my god, she fell down. <laughs> How dare you have physics applied to you and actually fall down the stairs? God damn it. Come up here. Hello? You alright? I got a friend! <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Also, what uh, George said. To cry myself, deal took a finally get a function cop. All oh, right, God damn it. Okay, you. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can drown her. Never mind. The game killed her because she couldn't stand up. Please make days gone. I'd play days gone too. I want to see what mechanics they 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 would improve over the first one. I got nine firecrackers and six flares. They're gonna carry me through the whole game. Thoughts of Final Fantasy 16? I don't care about Final Fantasy, but I mean, it looks... Does does the does the new Final Fantasy look good from what you... From many fans who like Final Fantasy? Because I never like Final Fantasy, but hey. If you do, cool for you. Which one's this one? Is this the hazmat one with the goon, or is this the biters with the goon? It's the hazmats. Alright, let me get them out. Can you come over? See, if you can't kill them, then just ask them to politely leave. Oh! Oh! That fucking biter almost killed me, holy shit. Okay, holy shit, that biter grab almost killed me because that, that, that goon hit me, well, that would have GG'd me. Alright, I think this is good enough. Alright, there you go. And then there's you. Look at you. Stay down, please. Uh, Bozo stood up. Alright, come over here. So once we clear all these safe zones, we'll be Gucci to go to proceed with the main quest chair, don't worry. Why do you have to be slow and boring and dumb? Can't you be a viral? Do you think Dialogue 2 would be a different 
be the zombie. <laughs> wait, I didn't even- wait, I didn't even kick her, did I? Did she die before I kicked her? Bruh. <laughs> you can't even use level 1 abilities like dodge? True, yep. So anyone who's uh, joining me doesn't know what the challenge is, I cannot spend any skill points. I am playing on Nightmare, and I am trying to 100% the game. Will I ever get a console? Probably not. Unless it's gifted to me. I don't have enough money to spend money on a console. <laughs> Sorry, someone asked me a question before. Um, do you think Dialect 2 would be a different Be The Zombie? What would you suggest for skills or otherwise? I'm sending this because I want to know what I think about Be The Zombie in DL2. Hmm. Okay, so um, BTZ is a weird thing. Because um, I, I think BTZ is lightning in the bottle that we'll never ever see ever again. But um, mainly due to a few things. One of them is that it was developed by a completely different company. It was not developed by Techline. Another thing... Oh my god, I'm just going to spend a firecracker. Fuck it. Uh, another thing is uh, the, the way that... Dialect -like work mechanic. Oh my god, please get out. There you go, that's good enough. Uh, the way that the game mechanically works with uh, the parkour and the physics, um, you won't be able to replicate that in Dying Light 2. You just wouldn't. You would have to have a completely different um, gameplay experience, and I'm not even sure how they could do that at all. Uh, Techland has. Almost zero experience in PvP game, the gaming. The only PvP that they've done is uh, Bad Blood because uh, Digital Scapes, a company they outsourced to, made uh, be the zombie for Dying at One. I'm not going to ask how I got a subscription. Can you take a guess? Maybe it was a guy starting with J. Prince George. Why would you get a console when PC is better? Uh, well, I could get a console for exclusives. That's literally the only reason, though. Outsource another company. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they can do that, but like, fuck now, man. Bad Blood was pretty good. In concept, yes. In execution, no. I actually wouldn't mind Bad, Bad Blood being like a PvE, P, PvE VP experience, right? Where like the main goal is to collect samples and escape, but there's 12 of the, you know, 11 other players trying to do the exact same thing as you are. I think the concept is actually really good. Uh, the problem is execution. Peer to peer, uh, rather than like any dedicated servers, oof, that already hurts the experience of tons of lag, right? Um, balancing was always an issue as well. Uh, blunt weapon throw was the meta, and nothing else came close to how powerful that was, and that was so incredibly boring and unbalanced. And the way that you heal when you level up as well, like, there's, there's tons of small things. Uh, they also had a roadmap for it that they never actually followed up with. Oh my god, come up here. There we go, there we go. <laughs> No anti-cheat, yeah. Oh, but, well, no. Uh, Bad Blood did have anti-cheat. Easy anti-cheat. People already found a way around it. I can't believe people... People found the way around uh, easy anti-cheat for an early access dying light battle royale game. Like, how whack is that? Have done this challenge before? I've done level 1 runs before, but I haven't done 100% of them before. I haven't done 100% level 1 runs before. There you go. You got one more. Literally one more, and then we're golden. Chat, that was on purpose because I wanted to lose survivor points. Because you see, if you lose survivor points, I won't be able to level up as much. And... Uh, if I don't level up, then th that means the enemies won't scale with me. See, it's a t it's a I did it on purpose, okay?
social PvP. Th that could work. You, you know what? That could work with uh, like like Mirror's Edge uh, Edge's dashes, where like people people are uh, select a starting and end point, and then um, they can create like a parkour route, a time parkour route, and set a time for themselves, and other people can compete with it. I like that concept. You trust me? See? See? I'm a trustworthy guy, aren't you? Yeah. 100 minutes has passed. 101 minutes have passed. But yes. You get free Robux for losing survivor points. Which is why I did it. Fuck it, dude. I have so many metal parts. You know, there are people in this game- I'm sorry, okay, like, like, I don't want to be like they gatekeepy guy and make fun of people, but like, come on. There's some people who legit struggle with finding metal parts. I don't understand how you do that. It's the most common item in the entire game. You even get it from uh, dismantling weapons. But to be fair, I w in regards to the dismantling weapons, the game doesn't tell you they can do that. Still. It's an option in the UI that says it right there, dismantle, you know? Because uh, I just see so many people, like, on the, like, especially like, on, the, on, like, social media and stuff, they're like, Hey man, where do I find more metal parts? Because I'm so low and I'm just like, Did you just start the game or? I don't know, dude, like... Yeah, I, 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 again, a PvE game, you can do whatever you want, and we shouldn't gatekeep any kind of player. And I'm not gatekeeping any player, it's just that, like, man, fucking hell, I'm just surprised at the state of this, you know? Alright, uh, I won't bring the medicine back to Lena, I'll just do airdrop now. I need to contact the GRE anyway. Shut up, Necho. Permadeath? No. Oh boy. You know what though? This challenge is actually impossible in permadeath. And there's one reason why. It's technically doable apart from um, everything, apart from this one thing. In the pit, um, in the cutscene when the demolisher first comes, uh, arrives in its little cargo container and then it comes out, as soon as that cutscene ends, the Demolisher always charges you, at least in single player, and co-op, his AI can bug out and do some weird things. But in single player, he will always charge you. Now, when he charges you, the only way to dodge um, is by using the dodge skill. Without that skill, you will die 100 times out of 100 times. But apart from that, permadeath with this challenge is technically possible. Also, my, uh, Minea, I don't know how to pronounce her name, sorry. Miney, I don't know. I am on Nightmare Difficulty with this level 1 run. I've done a level 1 run before, but I haven't done a 100% run. So I gotta do all the side content at level 1 too, which is a first for me. I wonder how that's gonna go. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this... Warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of everybody. You did a, recently did a D1 no skill challenge? Nice. It's, an, it's a refreshing way to play the game. Because you gotta basically use the environment and AI manipulation more than just mindless mouse running, you know? Um... I don't remember that being insulted, although I just remember sucking at the game though when I first started it, yeah. But to be fair though, I did play the game on violent first playthrough. And to be fair, um Yeah, it's like when you when you when you when you select a hard difficulty for a game, you can't really complain about the difficulty. Um you can complain about game unfairness, like a bug killing you, right? Or like a game mechanic making no sense. But in terms of like selecting a hard difficulty and then and then complaining that's hard, 
That's counterintuitive and makes no sense. Oh, I remember that now, actually. Hey, friend. I remember that now. Okay, yeah, that was an oof moment. Uh, I'm gonna sell the water pipe because it's damaged. Like, my brain is damaged. Have I got a deal for you, friend? He has got- oh my god. Okay, there you go. He has got a deal for me. BTZ is dead on PS4. Unsurprising. BTZ is pretty dead. Now that there's so many hackers and the game has stopped getting updates. P ranking Minos. Easy peasy. Well, that was on standard though, not on violent. I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter. There's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Daily bounties make no sense. Oh, oh, you know what? I might as well get my Pilgrim Outpost daily bounties up. Let's see what they are real quick. <sighs> it's asking me to log in. Uh, let me do it real quick. Leaked password real. You could definitely see that on screen. All right. Uh, kill 30 toads. Kill 12 volatiles. Craft 60 items. Oh, I could do that one though. Um, I can do the kill 12 volatiles one if I'm able to go to the, do the Bozak poster, right? That will work. And then kill 20 demolishers. Well, fuck that. That's not going to work. <laughs> Newman outpost in Dead Island 2. Real. Not the hardest difficulties in games. Do one almost got it right, except the damage sponginess and normal regular zombies. I feel like Nightmare is a near perfect difficulty. My main issue uh, would be, again, the damage sponginess, but I feel like removing the uh, making abilities like Stomp, uh, Stun Kill, uh, uh, Drop Attack, right? Uh, and, cr and sliding and vaulting, those sort of like agility, well, those sort of combat skills, making them like use stamina on Nightmare is a, was one of the best ideas ever. I really like that. All right, about to do the edge off. Do you see that magnet, dude? This game is crazy. That magnet man. Oh, hello, Shakur. He has bought. What looks to be like two pizzas for me? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, you know what? Let me go up on a rooftop here. You know what? Let's look at all these zombies here. How about that? And he's bought me one pizza and a second pizza for my fat ass to consume. Nice. That's for the pizza, right? Thank you, Shakur. Um, uh, I think I, I think I did something wrong there, but uh, I'm lucky I was able to escape my life there. Whew. All right. Oh. Ah. Aha. We have no uh, hand towels or paper towels in the house, but we have toilet paper that can use. So chat. I got two pizzas here. Two pizzas. Oh my god, this is very fucking hot as well. Okay. The reason why I use scissors we don't have a pizza cutter, and these, this isn't cut. We don't have a pizza cutter, but we like using scissors. Scissors is actually surprisingly really efficient at uh, cutting pizza. Look. Hold on. Where is... Let me get the uh, food cam out. Look. I'll show you. Ba -ba -da. Second webcam. Let me... I haven't unpacked it from the move. Alright. 
we do this? Uh, there we go. And now, you should be able to see Hello. This is food can. And you shall go here. Look at this. <laughs> no wonder I'm getting fatter, chat. Look at this. Scissors are better than knife. Exactly, chat. So Chat, you're all, you're all, uh, scissor gang, right? You're not knife gang. You're all scissor gang for when it comes to, uh, cutting stuff, right? This is a mukbang stream now. A biter just died on his own. Okay, I heard that. Well. You know what? Shit. Hold on. Let me put a poll. Knife. Okay, hold on. Uh, what? Oh my god, here we go. What do... The cap sock is on, here we go. What do you use to cut your pizza? A knife? Or scissors? This is if you don't have a pizza cutter. Scissor gang here. Hmm. Shut the fuck up, Abasik. I don't want to hear that. What if you don't like pizza? I mean... You're French, so shut up. You eat it whole? No cutting? What's wrong with you? Oh, okay. Someone else said um, it's just hands. Do you wait? Do you, does anyone actually tear their pizza with their hands? Does anyone actually use his hands? Dude, what's wrong with chat? What's wrong with you guys? How come you eat it with? Not well. How can you cut pizza with knives? It's so much di so difficult, and like sometimes you have to like you scrape the plate while doing it with the knife. Scissors, you just cut right through. You just cut right through. It's so sim simpler. It comes in slices, not all the time. That's only if restaurants pre-slice it for you. This is just like oven heat and eat food, where like you just slap it in the oven for a bit. Fear, you fucking monkey. I said, if you don't have a pizza cutter, which is a circular blade, what do you use? We push it to the end of the plate and bite it. What, like this? Look, this is the whole pizza. You just do this. Oh! I almost dropped it. Oh my god. <laughs> I am not doing that again. I am not doing that again. It fell off the plate and I had my mouth was holding onto it. <laughs> Dude, that was so close to like scraping the cheese all over my screen as well. I had a heart attack there. Holy fuck. Chat. Okay, no, Cass. No, listen here, you Scottish fuck. Cass, listen, 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 listen. If you don't have a pizza cutter, right, the circular thing that you use to cut pizzas, that's that, that's the best thing to cut, right? If you don't have that, and it's not pre-cut, 
Do you use a knife or scissors? What do you use, Cass? This is scissors. How do I feel like I'm in an insane asylum right now. How does no one use scissors, man? These are kitchen scissors. They're designed to cut food. Fuck off. I am going insane. Shut the fuck up, Fear. You're Belgian. <laughs> Send it back. <laughs> You call me a psychopath? What do you use, Cass? Oh, you, you know what? You're British. You probably use a knife, you fucking weirdo. Yeah. You know what? You probably do that. Oh, shut the fuck up, Fiat. Oh, I, 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 dude, I'm getting so mad. I'm getting so mad at this chat. Oh. Steak knives. We don't have steak knives. But steak knives are pretty chill. I'm not British and I will use a knife before scissors. Okay, Rosario, look. I asked everyone in the chat, but I didn't ask your opinion, alright? Am I really in a minority here? I am. Look at this 68% knives. My god. Bro, I, I don't sharpen my knives. I don't own a whetstone. Like what? Fear. When you go to a restaurant, they cut it for you. And you, they use a pizza cutter. That's fine. We can all agree on that. Surely, right? So, but what's wrong with scissors if you don't have that option? You know what? Here you go. Here's a based opinion. It does not matter as long as you cut it. You know what? That's the truest take in this entire chat. But truer than my take. You know what? Phantom, you're right. Ignore that happening, with Horizon. Shut the fuck up, Cass. Okay. Okay, there were some people who were trolling. Someone said use a spoon. Tell that piece of hand. Dude, it's hot. I'm not going to do that. I tell your mother's asshole with my hand. That's what I do. <laughs> like your t Why does he even need cutting at all? Okay, dude. Okay. Wait, did someone say they sharpen the spoons? What? You know what? All these biters were once human beings. They would all agree with me. They would all agree with me. The people of Haran would would actually cut their pizza with scissors. I'm just saying. They are normal, rational human beings. Is that flat pizza? No. I think it, ha it has like a tomato sauce crusty crust uh, stuff as well. 
Oh, shut the fuck up. Of course, chat will turn that back on me. Okay. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Fuck you, chat. God damn it. <laughs> Don't bring the people that are run into this. Exactly, Miguel. Exactly. What Miguel is saying is 100% facts. How do people not understand this? If I'm using a knife, I'm cutting into the plate. And you have to do the sawing motion against the pizza. And sometimes it can get jammed and stuck. It's so annoying. With, with scissors, all you need to do, you just need to do that. Move forward and do that. So easy. You didn't cut pizza on plates? Where else would I cut it, man? I don't have anything. The kitchen is two floors down. I am not going down there to cut my pizza. Exactly, Plasma. When you use a knife, I do it on the pizza tray. I mean, we don't have a pizza tray. What, I have two pizzas? Let's ignore that part. Just cut the pizza down the middle using an axe. I <laughs> think you want to I can picture that now, too. You just cut the axe. Lift it above your head, and with the might of Zeus, you strike down on it. It's cutting through the pizza and smashing a plate onto it into pieces. But hey, now you have a pizza in two pieces. Okay. Okay, no, 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 shut up. Hey. This is not why I'm fat, chat. This is not why I'm fat. This is not why I'm fat, okay? Well. Ah! Oh my god. I was about to jump down, but I realized I can't. This is good enough. This is good enough. All right, let's chill. This pizza does not have pineapples, okay? This is like the, your cheap few dollar costing pizza that you just buy that's pre-made from the store and you heat up, all right? There's nothing special to this pizza. Heal. I will only heal if you guys vote to put scissors at the top of the pole over knives. I agree, Fear. I'm not treating this like it's some sort of gourmet dish, right? <laughs> You'd rather unsub. Okay, goddammit. Okay, okay, listen. Behold the power of scissors. You'll have your mind blown, okay? Look, I go to the side, I cut across, cut across. Cut, across, cut, across, cut, across, and boom. That is so easy. Look. And then I go this way. Oh my god, it blows your mind. You guys, oh my god, it actually works. It is so much easier. See, Zane, Miguel. Now my hands are greasy. I got this.
Oh, shut the fuck up, chat. This is... The, well, I'm, I'm speaking absolute facts and you cannot give any evidence to prove otherwise. <laughs> is the cunt not in the middle? I mean, that part doesn't really matter. Exactly, EXE. They're all insane. I'm not the one who's insane. The masses are the ones who are crazy. You're all crazy. I'm- I'm- I'm a, I'm a real one. Shut the fuck up, Necho. No, 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 no. Who can should be cancelled? Shut up. It doesn't matter that the scissors are greasy. My hands are going to be greasy anyway. This plate is dirty. The scissors are going to be used up and they're going to go... Chat. These are kitchen scissors. These are serrated. Look at that. They're serrated sharp. Like, the end here is actually really sharp. Like, these are kitchen scissors. These go... These, these scissors, they get stored in the same place where all the other kitchen utensils that get saved. We do not use these for cut paper. We don't use these to cut paper. We use other scissors for that. It even has a bottle opener in the middle here. Look. You, you grip the bottle like that. Bottle opener teeth. Look at that. Oh my fucking god. Do you, do, um, how do you not understand it? Did we ask? You're watching! Use a pizza cutter? Duh! I would if we had one. But guess what? When we moved house, it got stolen. Alongside a ton of other kitchen utensils, so we don't have it anymore. But that was from two houses ago that we've moved. We haven't bought another one. It wasn't the pizza cutter that was stolen. It was the entire, it was like a... You know how like some trays can be taken out of the war of the wardrobes, right? And like some trays can be taken out. It was taken out and left there and it was gone the next day. Someone took it. So a lot of kitchen utensils were stolen, including the pizza cutter. We just didn't buy a replacement. Shut the fuck up, Abbasic. God damn it. Oh my god. Dude, I don't boil hamburgers. My god. God damn it. This fucking chat. <laughs> this chat. Oh. Uh oh. Insanity. All of you are insane. Yeah, that's right. You know what? That's probably why all of you are crazy right now, because it's so late for you. You need to seek therapy. I can't finish this. This is too much. 
I I'm not eating the crust anymore. What a sandwich good this is it? Oh my god. No. What? Why? <laughs> you eat the crusts first? <laughs> Cass, that's different. You make your own sandwiches, right? Which are constructed and deconstructed, right? You would cut everything pre-sandwich making. You would cut the, the bread. You would just slice the bread, right? With a knife. You would just slice the bread with a knife before you make the sandwich. You don't do it after you make the sandwich. Okay, I can't eat anymore. I'm gonna go deliver the scissors back to my family who all do the same thing. We are, we are sane normal people. You're all, you, you chat, you're all the weird people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this outside, wash my hands and I'll come back. I am going to get some water too. <sighs> you know why that took an extra long time, chat? You know why that took an extra long time? Because I had to wash myself of your bad takes and bad opinions. I had to wash myself of listening to your fucking bad shit takes. Does I drink water? Shut the fuck up. God damn it. God damn it. You know what? Because like, cause he said that I'm doing this. And definitely not because I want to respawn with 100 HP to fight these Risemen. Oh, shut the fuck up. Actually, I knew someone in high school who cut their own hair with a knife. Uh, cause he didn't want to, um, sp pay money for a haircut. That was the reason he gave, at least. I don't think, yeah. Oh wait, sorry chat. Let me um...
turn off food cam. There we go. Oh. Jade, I need to check something out. Now? Oh my god, is this the E3 mission from from uh, E3 2013? Oh yeah, no, of course. Scissors are made for cutting paper, but there's actual kitchen scissors. Chat has never heard of the concept of kitchen scissors with actual hardened steel and like razor razor sharp edges. Like you guys are just weird. Oh, hey, honey. Hey, what are you doing in here? Yeah, I have no idea how it went, but his haircut didn't look good because obviously he did it himself with the mirror. So like, you know, that's automatically a recipe for disaster. Scissors or no scissors. You have kitchen scissors. What do you use the kitchen scissors for? What do you cut your cling, do you cut your um, foil cling film in half instead of tear it off or something? What do you, okay, okay, apart from, Okay, okay. Actually, there's a lot of use for kitchen scissors, right? But it's designed to also cut food. You can perfectly cut food with this kitchen scissors. Absolutely fine. Peace is just one of the food. What the fuck is chicken paper? Alright, how do I take out these guys? I can use my pistol. You know what? I'm, I, I am going to use my pistol. Fuck. Minus one round. What are you afraid of? Face me like a man. With you. Hold on, this music is actually a jam. Food packaging? I mean, yeah, I do that too. Kitchen scissors are just too nice pieces that you know what? You might have resolved the war between me and chat. Oh my god. Oh my god, his neck is inside his body. What? 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 You seen this? He's morphing. That. Oh, perfect timing. All right, easy. Thirty-six, twenty, thirty-seven. Let's do thirty-seven. Now I have grenades and more pistol ammo. Now I'm gonna put the pistol over here. Or should I? No, I'll have it here. Okay. So, let's get rid of the knife. We don't need that. Both of these deal 36 damage. I'm going to take this one. It's a plain hammer. That does 50 damage. Ooh. Okay. I have the best uh, melee weapons available to me. Dude, with this inventory being so limited at level 1, it's so cancer. <laughs> it's such a banana. It's nice to be streaming again. You know what's not nice? Using a knife to cut pizza. Oh, that's, uh, oh, 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 that's all I'm gonna say, I'll leave it at that. That shit's irritating. Shut the fuck up, Abyssic. God damn it. 
demoralized and demonetized. Yeah, I wonder if my, um, my rant of constant swears triggered, uh, YouTube, maybe. I can do this. Stop adding fuel to the fire. Nah, nah, you guys are adding fuel to the fire by believing that, uh, scissors aren't, uh, good for cutting pizza. I legit never thought it would be a hot take, but it somehow is. That's what surprised me so much. I think he needs to die for this checkpoint to trigger, right? Okay, never mind. Wait, did he did he die? I think he did die. Okay. What's the opinion on a new Apple VR headset? Uh lol. Fucking stupid. Alright, let's see if I can do this without initiating a chase. Stealth. Oh my god, okay, I just fell down. You know what they're trying to do as well? By making it so you have to use your hands instead of controllers? They're cutting off? Um... I guess that's the whole unique selling point of them, right? You know? But like, man... Using hands? Well, that's, that's not it. That's not gonna be it. Control, like... We don't have the tech right now. Or like consumer level tech to be able to do like that effective hand tracking on on like a mainstream consumer level for games and stuff like that, right? And also, it what will be supported software wise for like no controller tracking or just be pure free hand tracking? Imagine skipping a chase. <clears throat> oh, you want me to? Uh, <clears throat> you want me to uh, trigger a chase then? Huh? All right, all right. I heard there are any scripted events where one sudden vial of Anderson was never used it can come in handy. Yeah, yeah. Clueless. What if I turn this on and then bait the, the volatile into it? Hello, sir. I've always had a pizza cutter, so the question was kind of relevant for me to be H, and without one, I would just eat with my hands or rip it. Ripping it's kind of based. Oh, man. This means we can survive for the next brick hammer? That makes me bricked up. Alright. So Chat, as soon as we get to the top and complete this, we'll be able to change outfit to whatever you choose. So, chat. I'm what kind of outfit piece. do you want me to wear? Now I know how brick. I'll be able to wear, like, pretty much everything except for event stuff and, um, difficulty reward stuff. Oh, no, I can actually wear the difficulty re uh, stuff. Oh my god, chat's still going on about the scissors. <laughs> French flag, Bill, fresh clothes, Bozak's pet. I don't think, can I, do I have Bozak's pet even without going in Bozak? Oh yeah, I do. Um, Bozak Master, I don't have it. Special agent. There's Bill, yeah, as level with the dead skin. Birthday, <laughs> um. Rip the pizza, the news, oh my god. It's... Quarantine demon. Oh, I, th I think though that's a, Legend outfit though, unfortunately. <clears throat> Zombie wannabe. Or should I just leave this up to RNG? Because you guys can't decide on any single one. Like, I have, I think uh, the only outfits with more than one vote is French and Bill. 
I've moved houses, Tony. Oh, people, okay. So there's Bozak's pet, Bill, and the French outfit. And zombie wannabe. Okay, so there's... Okay, there's four. Zombie wannabe. Um... Uh, where is it? The zombie wannabe, Bozak's pet, the French outfit, or... Where's Bill? Am I dumb? I don't see Bill. Oh, it's in, um... Yeah, this one. Okay, everyone's saying Bill. <laughs> God damn it, why does it always go to Bill? I swear, every single stream, every single stream it goes to Bill. God damn it. Yeah, everyone's saying Bill. Van Crane. You know what? It would actually be fine because Van Crane's useless to me. Ah, let me go this way. Congrats, you survived the night. Too bad that run didn't work. Alfie's looking for you. He's in his workshop down. He's in his workshop downstairs. That's the We've collected all the right, bottle okay. time. Yeah. Speaking of which, Champion. Me to pass the Welcome to the Champions Club. Let's go downstairs and see Alfie. Oh no, let's go up actually. Because we are... Oh no, we're not giving DeWitt our gun. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. Absolutely not. Tomorrow, RDR2 stream. Tomorrow, BTC Friday. Then Saturday will be the Red Dead stream. And then I'll be doing Brecken this. so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself. Right. I'll be doing this playthrough again on Sunday. That's the plan. I'm not sure if I'll stick to it, but that's the plan. You're out. So, I, think after uh, I have half an hour more I'm until it's the Friday. Plasma, but yeah. It's Thursday, pretty much. Oh. Knife. British, be like. Crane, can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? We no, all no, appreciate it's... what you've done. Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the We're doing this at night. We're not a pussy. I didn't know him for that long. In fact, we're doing Voltage right now. He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. BTZ is back. But I just want you to know... Only because I'm in the mood for it. I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you two are taking... I mean, to be fair, I can just not do it tomorrow. Look, Jade... Yeah, fuck it, I won't do it tomorrow. I am going to do Red Dead tomorrow. Just and then I'm going to continue in this playthrough Saturday. How about that? See? I make up stuff on the fly. I never really stick to a plan, which is why I don't like having a schedule, because I always break the schedule. Right, I'm in the substation. Just find the control panel and turn the switch on. That'll reboot the system. Done. Good. Do you play enough BTZ on those uh, streams? I mean, that's that's just uh, playing Hunter though. But yeah. Ooh yeah, baby. That's what we were waiting for. That's what it's all about. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, that was very close. I almost doited. Dude, I want to play RDR2 again though. Holy shit! And you know what? It's gonna take a while for me to get back into the game because <laughs> I haven't played it for so long. It's gonna be weird. Check general. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a scissors meme, isn't it? Nah, 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 nah. Imagine, imagine being so insecure about your knife take 
that you have to make a meme about scissors on pizza. I'm not the insecure one, you are. <laughs> Level 4 chase, that would actually be hard to keep up with my lack of equipment and skills right now. But not for my lack of skill. Oh my god. I'm at the main station now. Oh. You're out of time. The revolatiles heading right for you. Oh well, whatever. Just tell me what to do. Don't be stupid, they'll tear you to pieces. That's my problem. Now tell me what to do. You've got to fire. It's the done. Lane. Fire it up now. Hang on. It vaults, you freaks. Alright, now the trick is how to loot that. Oh, okay. Don't sleep on firecrackers, chat. Don't sleep on firecrackers. I am on Nightmare, it says right here. Wait, did you try to call me out for not playing on Nightmare? You can see, okay. So, um, wait, uh, Elias, just to clarify, you cannot see volatiles and virals on the minimap, the top right of the screen on Nightmare and Heart Difficulty. However, you can still see the outline with um, Survivor Sense. And on normal and story mode, you can see the. Look, see, look, I can see that because of my Survivor Sense. I'm spamming it all the time. Survivors and spam, spammer enjoyers. A a any spammers in chat? I'm faking a casual run. I can't believe it. <laughs> Imagine me being- imagine if I actually was trying to do that though. Being that much of an idiot to fake being on Nightmare. Like, the stake is just so low. Who gives a- like, like it's so- it's such a stupid thing to fake. Wait, what's- what's Olo spamming? Wait, what? Why is everyone saying yes? Wait, what- did I ask a question? I did, didn't I? It was about survivors and spammers here, right? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> it's the saying yet. I should not have pointed it out. Now everyone's going to say yes for the sake of saying yes. God damn it. I blame Olo. It's just Olo's fault. This is all Olo's fault. Dementia Gaming. Notice how blue shops can sell um, purple on, on legendary tier items though. This is Dementia Gaming here. Oh shit, I just hit my mic, sorry. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Net Show. Mic abuse. This is truly a mic abuse moment. Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Luck, going to need it. What was he doing? He don't he attacked the air, me. not me. That was weird. Reckon sent me. Oh, oh, no, I'm not doing it. Alright, what does he want? Come to make a deal. What kind of deal? I'd like them to add in more air control into DL2, but I'll set up with power cold to move keep right. they do that. Let him through. Uh both would be ideal. Forgot this to go to the yeah, he goes to the left. 
Bill knocks on the door to rise his compound. Shut the fuck up, I'm sick. God damn it. Okay. Do I want to do this quest at night? I met Rice. I'm gonna Jay try Floyd, it. He's a psychopath. It's gonna be annoying to turn on the power at the bottom in the little building thing, but apart from that, it should be straightforward. Crane. And where's you, if I... That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle this. Just don't fail, forehead. Point system? Uh, points are useless on my channel. You can just use them to gamble and stuff like that. I don't want to have any He's real worth- named Kareem. He's like Rice's major I don't want to have any, uh, real worth number one. significance on them because I don't want to encourage people basically- It basically becomes like an actual real worth current, you know, real worth currency to spend on something. And I don't want people paying their way to do that or encourage actual gambling for that, you know what I mean? And also because I don't really know any creative ways I can use it outside of that. Just two coming out in 2029. Nice. The first one's kind of whack, not gonna lie. Also, that, that viral fell over. Uh, volatile. Crane. Report. Just met. I've Rise. been moving house. No Z. Question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through oh, hoops me? before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. You know what? You know how they have the uh, post-processing filters? Um... Uh, is it this? You know, I can like make your game look sepia, for example, right? Like, why do they have a GRE filter for the GRE filter they have what the game gets when you uh, talk to them? That'd be a cool thing to do. I feel like the the post processing shit is such an underused, um, underdeveloped feature in this game. What exactly am I doing? But at least it still has more presets than Dying Light 2's post processing, so there's that. It's a benefit for everyone. Not just a cool rice. feature for five minutes. It's just one of those small things that'll be nice to have. Especially when recording stuff for videos. Imagine a photo mode for DL1. Man, there's so much stuff they could have done. There's so much stuff that a Dying Light Remastered would be nice. Not remake. I am not trusting Techland to remake it. Remastered though? Yeah. Which one to prefer, D1 or two? Uh, one for sure. I'm shouting because this fucked up, infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic. Okay, he knocked me inside. Oh my god, that actually worked. That worked. Go on the floor, you bozo. Ten year anniversary. Nah. They're too busy uh, making DLC 2 in the new fantasy game. There's no way they're going to be doing that. But yeah, I mean, like, there's so many small things that DL1 needs to be basically, like, one of the perfect games of all time for me. Um, not including BTZ. Like, if they improved human combat to, so where you're actually able to parry them, all, all you need is a parry system with humans, right? That's all you need. Basically make it more of like a tic-tac-toe thing with uh, humans like in DL2, right? Um, that... Um, fix the infinite seizure bug. Hello, sir. This is Sparta. Will he survive or will he die? It's a nightmare. He fucking survived. Oh my god. I rate DL1 is a 9 out of 10 game, oh, but for shit. me, it's like a 10 Clean. out of 10 game. Someone already it's like, this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to it's switch one of my on. favorite games of all time. Fuck, one of, not the. Yeah, that bug as well. 
uh, Olo. Uh, make it so uh, gold weapons actually spawn in um, in hard lock chests on Nightmare difficulty, like they advertise as, because that feature's been removed for some reason. Um, uh, some there's like one following outfit that doesn't have its mask. Like some outfits don't have their masks, even though they're meant to be mask outfits, that kind of stuff. There's so many small things, right? That that can be fixed and changed or addressed. And then it'll be like basically a flawless game. Oh, make uh the unskippable cutscenes, like the one or two in the museum, make them skippable. Boom. Oh hello sir. I'm not going that way. How'd I rate the store here deal one? Like four out of ten? Like it tries to do some things and it, ha it does a couple of things okay-ish. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Maybe is he good? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And obviously reintroduce, um, finish the DLR updates into BTZ, add an, uh, add an anti-cheat mode. And basically make it so you don't use a single player save for BTZ. You basically Green choose a preset loadout and you matchmake as a human. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei. Probably his son Crystal. So rather than just having your game open for invasion. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. That is a fucking big bug. Holy shit. Sorry. <laughs> Something just flew right in front of me there. Okay, it's just chilling on the wall now. What the fuck do you want? Um, but yeah, make it so it's a mode that you access as a human and as a hunter uh, from the menu rather than make it make BTZ use single player saves. That way, people can still mod the shit out of their game in single player, do what they want, right? Without it affecting BTZ. If you wanted to have an infinite UV for PVE, go ahead, do that. It'll be, it'll, it'll work, uh, the, it won't affect BTZ with the whole new system we're thinking of, you know? Um, wait, sorry, someone asked the question. What's my favorite game? I got, I don't know. It's like tied between Walking Dead Saints and Sinners 2, specifically, um, Project Zomboid, and like, Halo 3. Funnily enough, two of them are zombie games. Is Golden Grapples classified as cheating? I mean, if you're using it in PDZ, yeah. If it's just Golden and has no mechanical properties to it, then no. But I mean, more often than not, it'll be like infinite or have elements on it, you know? Him. Communication is crystal clear now. Transformers Armada. I remember I remember going on a whole tangent with you about that derp, yeah. They can hear each other without standing for the first time since Left 4 Dead 2? Left 4 Dead 2 is a good game, but I feel like Left 4 Dead 2 is only fun for me nowadays with friends. I used to play single play all the time uh, when I was a kid on the Xbox. But now it's only really fun if you do versus or uh, co op with your buddies. Alone, it's not really that fun anymore for me. Oh, cool level ups, time to win. exactly. <laughs> I know why that happened because of uh, this fucking thing here. Stupid though. Wanna do you? Measure DL1 released today. Ooh. Okay, let's 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 present a hypothetical. Let's say Dying Light One in its current state, so as in seven years of content state, if this game was released today without the world knowing that Techland and the Dying Light franchise exists, right? Let's just say it's like a new franchise, right? Dying Light comes into the fray, right? 
how well would this have been received and how well would it do would it do do better worse same huh who is this kyle crane who wants to know my name is troy it'd be considered a good game okay but i want to let's let's think let's think deeper than that right because i think at this point in time Zombies as a Just genre. Done. Oh my Just god, that was loud. And get that Zombies answer. as a genre isn't so overdone like it was in the 2010s, right? So automatically it has a bigger advantage. Um. Hmm. It'll, it'll, it will do better. Honestly, I think it'll be a game of the year contender. Well, mm, story. That's the only thing holding back this game, you know? Yeah, you know what? It's not going to get Game of the Year because of the story, right? Wait, no. Overwatch won Game of the Year, right? Wait, didn't Overwatch win Game of the Year in 2016 or something like that? But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in that. I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the yeah, Overwatch won. Okay, so then, yeah, a, a non-story game can win Game of the Year. I mean, Elden Ring did, but it, even in a... Yeah, okay. The thing is, it's like the game has to... Well, apart from Overwatch, the game has to be... If it's not a story-driven game, it kind of has to be, like, exceptional in every other way. I would say there's a big chance that this game would have gotten nominated for Game of the Year for release today. I don't think it would have won, though. Exactly, Plasma, yeah. Imagine if DL1 released in this state and then got support to basically fix all the small bugs and change all the small things I basically just talked about a few minutes ago. Dude, perfect fucking game. It could be run up? Maybe. But then you also got to consider Dead Space Remake came out this year. RE4 Remake came out this year. Um... job for Rice. What this huge game came dirty. out this year already? That's like Game of the Year worthy. Um, village. my brain's just gone numb. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. I mean, you got Starfield coming out later this year too. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, crane out. I don't know. My favorite zombie game, Project Zomboid. And Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. But I feel like Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, it's a bit of a cheat because it's VR and VR is automatically more fun as a medium. Um, but Saints and Sinners is like a really good sort of um, semi-sandbox VR game, which is nice. Hogwarts, Hogwarts released this year. I don't know how well it would do in the awards, considering the whole co controversy around it. You know. So I just threatened to break an old man's But if you like remove the controversy, yeah, definitely it's going to be giving the contender. Spider-Man Two. Oh yeah, that's coming this year, isn't it? The messenger always meets us there. So I got a uh, quest in the tower to do, but I'll do that after I, after I do this main quest. Will I play only up? Probably not, no. I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. If they made deal on remaster download for physics, would I play? Oh no, I'd be so sad, man. I would play it for the sake of playing it, but man, I'd be so sad and be depressed while playing it. I'm doing the best I Forbidden can West. That came out this year? I thought it came out last year. Or am I dumb? Maybe I'm dumb. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. Alright, alright. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon. Um, if Starfield doesn't deliver, Spider-Man's probably gonna win this year, yeah. Pretty sure Spider-Man's gonna win this year. How well do you think Dynamite would run on laptop? Uh, laptop GPUs or CPUs or both, I'm not sure. Uh, they're unsupported. So even if you have like a really good um, laptop, it still won't run well. Household supplies um, aren't 
Well, the reason why I'm running low on it on my main save is because I use them to craft bolts all the time, right? Crossbow bolts. But, um... Yeah. I, I think I, the, the only reason they're scarce is because of how, <gasps> of how often they're used. Oh my goodness gracious. So, I've got a German pistol and an American pistol. Now, what I can do... I can um, give the American pistol to Dawood, but I need to make sure to put the German pistol away because Dawood takes the best pistol from you. Alright, I'm not using... Hmm. You know what? No. I'll do that later. That place is too hot right now. No, I won't sell the pistol. I'll give the American pistol to Dawood. Yeah, what's really weird about I feel <laughs> I feel like modern tech clan has uh, has tarnished Dying Light Two a little bit, and what I mean by that is they've introduced more bugs into Dying Light Dying Light One. They fucked the game up a little bit, and I feel like they also they also fucked up um, performance for Dying Light One. Um, I was able to run Dying Light 1 perfectly fine, sometimes like being able to maintain 60 FPS on my laptop which had a 1070 in it. A laptop, a, a uh, laptop version of a 1070, right? And that was when I was streaming in 2019 and 2020 my um, permadeath series for the main game if anyone's seen that. That was on my laptop. And I think you can hear my uh, laptop fans in the background picking up on the mic the whole time too, but anyways. Um, I was able to run it perfectly fine back then, but I don't know why nowadays people are struggling with like 2060, 3060 uh, GPUs, uh, laptops. And I wonder if it's because uh, of any change that the Techland has made to the game since since when I last played on my laptop. Because Techland have no fucking idea what they're doing sometimes. Okay, yeah, Kareem, when I say village, that like there's a whole whole Techland have tarnished uh, Dying Light, I mean like, like modern Techland have with all the new people part of Techland, right? They fucked it up a little bit. Because uh, when they were adding new content and doing the DLC bundles, they side. didn't know what they were doing with the code, right? Because they didn't know the code like the previous devs do. And they fucked it up and I don't know, dude. It's just weird. I can actually lead these guys into the water. Come here, bozos. Come here. Come here. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold on. There we go. If I kick you underneath here, you will die. The game didn't kill you, instead glitched in there, alright. One line of code with the dear one, new tech line, you won't be able to play New Game Plus, rise here, repeat the end, and hook gets taken out when you start New Game Plus, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Bro, this place is buggy as fuck. I've never done this before. Alright, he's dead. Easy peasy. Which time I was my favorite one for sure. Faster passes deal too. Hey, anybody in there? Shh. Look, I got rid of a rifle. Yeah, I feel like that's what happened for Sona with deal with deal one. They they appled it. A real man would have kicked his ass for a king. Gas mask man. All right, chat. I'll probably finish this main quest and these bunch of side quests and then call it a day. It's already past midnight. 
bit of a short stream today, only three hours, but I do want to continue more of this on Saturday. Let's just do this right now, though. Oh, excuse me. Wait, that didn't kill her, bruh. Oh, I'm at 36 HP. I am gonna die. Oh my god. You can't get that in DL2. Look at that cleave. Hitting, decapitating three people at a time. Oh my god, and the slow-mo too, when that happens. And directional damage. Because I'm jumping, he slices down and slices them in half. But sideways swinging when I'm, uh... Not... I am at 100 HP, I need to be careful. A true pocket sand. data if you can't manage to kill enough zombies is the last of us a good game no. uh, i don't like nothing. it the story is good but i don't like the gameplay and the, the story isn't good enough for me to continue playing the game funnily enough i actually like days more a lot more than that days gone i don't know why i like the story a lot more there over each other, bro. Uh oh, oh I, can, I can just do that, yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, this thing is pretty sweet. Not sure about the battery life, though. Well, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. My favorite game of all time. I mean, I already answered this, but um, it's going to be uh, between Halo 3, Project Zomboid, and um, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners 2. But Saints and Sinners 2 is sort of like third quick place the there. Says. I'll show them quick. Zombie U, isn't that the one in England? Ow. No, it's not your fault. It's fine. I was just, I was just clarifying in case, like, oh, he's answering the same question again. But it's like... Yeah, I'll answer. I'll answer it anyway. You can make, take the points. You can send messages every few minutes for the points. Yeah. You get points by watching every minute. And uh, you get points with every message you send per minute cooldown. I'm not sure how it works exactly. Yeah. It's based in the UK, yeah. Still streaming? Yes, sir. It is. Past oh, not for long, though. I will be uh, stopping soon, but... I'm still going right now. What do you use points for? Absolutely nothing. It's meaningless, like Reddit karma. I can't believe people actually fucking buy accounts and sell accounts with high Reddit karma. How fucking sad do you have to be for that? It means absolutely nothing. Take these practice makes perfect, I guess. But what about Twitter paying for the badge things? Twitter blue, I think that's what it's called, right? Ay ay ay! Sorry. I heard the bomber behind me. I panicked. I mean, there is some mechanical use to put Twitter blue, right? Like, be like your messages having priority and like the replies and shit. And I think you can have like embed larger files. I, I could be wrong, right? But right, I, I don't know exactly, right? But it's like it's still pretty bad. Fuck anyone. Like it's worthless as fuck. But um, 
It's still not as bad as Reddit Karma. Reddit Karma is like, who gives a fuck, well, man? It worked. I mean, it worked enough, I guess. I think I burned off my eyebrows. Jojo reference. Wait, what did I say? That sounded like a Jojo reference. <laughs> I'm trying to think what it was. Sure. And listen, I'll bump up your profits. If it has some playing Zombie you? Um, no. But I mean. Might be interested. I don't know. I, I've never really seen much of it, so I don't really have much of an opinion on it. Why don't I name my channel Aussie GG? Raised in Australia with an Australian family. Well, Australian and New Zealand family. So I spent most of my life in Australia growing up. Moved to Europe. Um, and GG stands for Grammar Guy because I was known as the Australian Grammar Nazi in school. And of course, I don't want to say I don't want to call myself Australian grammar Nazi. I so call myself Australian grammar guy, Aussie GG for short. But thing is, calling Aussie GG is kind of like, ah oh shit, um, people don't really know what the GG stands for because everyone automatically thinks it means. Oh. Everyone thinks it means um, good game, you know, because that's what GGs usually is abbreviated for. But um, it means grammar guy. Oh, the pillarmen start. Ay 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 ay. Who's going to win in a fight? Elon Musk or Zuckerberg? Isn't Mark Zuckerberg much younger? He he would he would win. Aussie gamer girl. I mean, if I was a girl, it might have been that. That would have been funny. The thing is. I think I would have done worse. Great job, man. It was crazy. I think I would have done worse if I was actually a, a girl starting this. Um, I don't know why, because it's like you ha already make you have that assumption on Not social media, where like but if you if you're a streamer girl, you automatically have like a Kuma audience, right? Okay. I don't know. It's just like a, and, and like you're viewed as less because you have. I don't know. It's hard to explain. You know what I mean? And also, if I had the name Aussie Gamer Girl, but I didn't actually have a str proper strong Aussie accent, it would be like, uh, weird. Like, people say girls have it easy on social media, and it's it's both true and it's untrue. Uh, I think they can make a lot more money much easier by doing low effort shit, right? By just, by just basically... Um, baiting the Kumas, right? OnlyFans shit. But like, you have to bring yourself down to the level and a lot of people don't want to do that. When it comes to just like, you know, the viewers like degrading or something. It's down to the individual how they feel, but yeah. Shut up, Gibby. You're not the, you're not the best deal player. I am. Dockets finally work? Nice. I'm here to make a pickup for Rise. Back, Back already? You just you paid off, you bloodsuckers. Suckers. Sorry, I heard that too many. I heard that too often. Aren't you? Okay, yeah, Kareem. I'm doing a collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. I'll come back and claim your prize. Okay, where is it? Really? Are there no out? Al there's no algae. Bad RNG. Run, runs dead. Do I wish I can voice? Oh, do you wish yeah, I can like voice a character in DLC yeah, too? In I already voiced some. Uh, I voiced some uh, of the of the uh, audience cheering in Body Ties. You, you can hear me and the other YouTubers in the background there. That was kind of fun. Um, I am doing your mother in bed tonight. There we go. Should I sell the XP card? Wait, can I do that? Oh, I don't. I don't think I can. Right? Oh, I can. Oh shit! I'm gonna sell it. Oh, this is 324 damage though. No, I'm not selling it. I'll sell it when it's broken. I like how he was doing a, a, a buy to spawn animation. Have I done glitches to level up other saves? My main save, I haven't done any glitches to level it up. 
I have, however, duped a lot of drops to, uh, when doing, um, the following speedruns so I can instantly get max trust. And obviously for all my speedruns I always use glitches there, yeah. Uh, on my second save, it's also legit. Um... Very rarely, I've done a couple of saves where I did it for that purpose. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can. I yeah, he fell back in the hole. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Would you ever play near? I okay. Apparently, near replicant just came out, right? I didn't, I didn't even know or see any ads of it like existing until, until I heard that it came out. Um, I actually wanted to play near automata years ago on my laptop, but the performance on PC is fucking dog shit. But now that I got this PC, I might be able to do it now. It's it's like one of my games I want to play. It's on my list. How do you dupe them? Uh, on PC, you use your mouse to do some shit. I know about horde camo potions. Are you talking about like the cloak potion from Dahlia? You know what, I actually have a lot of um, music from Nia on my playlist without even playing the game. Dude, Song of the Ancients is really good. Is that what it's called? I think it is, yeah. PC specs, I, uh, I did not build my PC, but I chose all the parts. Uh, my specs are in the description though, below, in my, of my, uh, yeah. Characters are covered in infected zombie blood and they don't bother to clean it off. Um, I'm so fucking stupid. I don't know why my mic was muted there. I, I, I do know why, but like, I misclicked. Oh. Okay, sorry. Um. What was I gonna say? I answered the question about my PC. Um. I don't know if I was muted before or after that. I'll answer it again. Um, yeah, uh, I, I didn't build it, but I chose the parts myself and they built it for me and sent it to me. Why 8 gigabyte VRAM? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not. Again, I'm not a PC guy. I don't. I don't know what significance that is compared to everything else. How many people have I just know GPU. Like you want a good GPU, CPU, and RAM. Like I don't really know much else about anything. And of course, you want a good power supply to be able to hold all that, maintain it, whatever. I don't know, dude. You to you? No. Yeah. I'm not a PC guy. That's why I don't build it. Because I, I, I legit am a baby when it comes to that kind of stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I, I got, I got my PC based on recommendations from my peers. Oh wait, do I need- yeah, there's some more things here. We play Dine on PC? Yeah, it will be a much better experience than PS4, for sure. Midnight Bride, and oh, I hate this quest. I hate this quest because you go on a wild goose chase, but also because, um, it's really fucked up, this quest. Like, of, like, of course you have the cannibal with, who eats the dog quest as well, but like this quest is fucked up, what, like what the, what it, here. fucking kidnaps children and like keeps women in his basement, like. Do you know where Harun is? I saw Harun early. He was telling now go fuck yourself. Did 
you get your PC from Overclockers? Uh, I got it from P. I got it from PC Specialist. <laughs> the logos on my on my uh, on my tower, so I, I just looked over to it. What do you think about getting an R R R R R T X four thousand CPU or AMD seven thousand? They both have the uh, which is a little bit very high quality, without losing quality. Um, now go fuck yourself. Now go fuck yourself. I'll be interested. It's just money, though. Netro, that's the thing. Also, uh, I do not trust myself to replace this. I'll probably go to an expert to do it for me. Uh, look, when it comes to like building a PC, I have absolutely no knowledge in, in it to the point where I'm happy to pay. I, I know, I, I know, I'm pretty tight on money, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to pay more money for someone to get it 100% right, for an expert to do it right, um, instead of me doing it for free and fucking it up and then potentially damaging PC parts. Alright. Oh wait, let's talk to Yasmina. Take the most expensive one. Yeah, that the first one is the, most, is the most expensive one, trust. You watch any anime? Not nowadays. Um... There's... The only thing I'm currently watching is AOT and Jojo. But I mean, like, Jojo's... Jojo's already up to part 6, and I already watched that. But I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting for, like, when part 7 gets ad adapted, but that's gonna be a lot while from now. Um, and AOT, I mean, I've read the manga, so I'm not exactly looking forward to the last thing, but hey, it is what it is. Also, we're getting some frame drops. Rip or any. Um. But I'm not actively watching anything right now, though. No. How do you get all the dialect one stuff? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I watched up to, like, episode 4, 5, or 6 of Inland Saga, then I stopped after a certain character died. And then, like, he was the only interesting character for me, and then I kind of lost interest in the show because he died. How do you get dockets? Uh, you get dockets from Bozak Horde, or from, um... From Bozak Horde or from um, redeeming uh, Docker codes online. Unfortunately, they, there's no really. They, technically, I don't really do Docker codes with DL1 anymore, so you're gonna have to just stick with Bozak. Is run over? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by is it over? Am I like finishing stream today? No, I, I, I said I'm gonna finish this main quest. So I'm gonna finish pack with Rise. Oh yeah, yeah. I was wondering if I if I ever play near, do I play in um, sub or dub? Probably since the game will play in dub, because I don't wanna be looking at subtitles while I'm playing the game. I need to clear this place first. There we go, that should be good enough now, right? Oh my god, where? Okay, no, never mind. Hang on, do you know why? Right, we will, don't worry. Oh, Alright, I'm getting tired. I need to finish off, uh... Pack with rice, man. Let me recover Fallon's satchel, though. I might as well... Oh, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna continue playing. I'm addicted to this game, man. Despite the fact that I've done this fucking dozens of times, if not over a hundred times, I'm addicted. Oh my god.
Fallon, it's me. I'm near the cafe. Anything I should know? Stay clear of the latte. They tend to pour the milk. All right, I've got your satchel. Now, where's the camera? My God, you're incredible. It's in the trunk of a black car on the infamy bridge. Oh, that's not what I was hoping you'd say. About halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Oh, why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Hi. Hey. Yeah, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. Hey. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know. Oh my fucking god, I did it again. Uh, how long was that? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I I'm gonna come clean. You know why I meet myself? It's because I'm about to fart. But then when I... Thing is... Um, this isn't a... Uh... So I mute for the fart, and then I, I, I sometimes, um, I have to, uh, it's, this is a, uh, what do you call it? A mesh keyboard, or whatever you call it. This isn't a mechanical keyboard, so I can't do too many presses at once. So if I'm, like, sprinting and shifting at the same time. Look, I'm pressing the mute key, it's not muting, but if I... And then I have to press it again to un I have to basically, for some reason, shift isn't working. Oh, it's because it's because it's it's uh, um. Okay, no, I know why. The reason is, yeah, it's because I'm pressing shift, number pad, and shift number pad actually brings up a different num different input than uh thing because I have I have, an, I have number pad eight as my uh, push to mute uh to toggle mute and unmute. Membrane? Or without my brain. Still muted? Shut the fuck up, Paul. God damn it. Any stuffed turtle enjoyers? If you are, I have no idea how you live with yourself, but hey. You do you, my man. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small... Did you find the envelope? Not yet. Wait a sec. Dun, 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 dun. Police rifle. Yes. Good RNG there. Alright. Um, let's get rid of... That. Get some throwing axes up here. Yeah, I know, I, I know, Arlo, I know, Arlo. Okay, got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Go shave? I should. Uh, I shaved only last week. And it's growing back significantly hey. enough already. Come over here. I'm on the antenna. Do you see me? 
I didn't say it was mechanical, it's not. I'm up here. I need your help. I need your help. No, it's not ghosting, it's the fact that I, um, I'm pressing sh if I press shift, my mute button doesn't work. Because I'm, pr because my mute button is binded to cap, uh, number pad 8. Whereas number pad 8, if I press shift on that, it does arrow up. Whatever the icon is. I hear a plane, where is it? Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's that way. Ow. Alright, let's... Uh, okay, we'll go do this. Then I'll call it a day chat. No, I'll do this. Get the payment from Rice, and then we'll call it a day. Have I tried dying it to hard mode in a new game? Yes, I, that was my first ever playthrough. I did uh, from the, um, I, I did. Uh, fuck, I can't speak right now. God damn it! I played dying it to on hard. For my first ever playthrough, right from the beginning of the game, on release. <laughs> on release is the hard part. <laughs> my God, imagine if I got the death loop bug during my first playthrough. That would have been cancer. Alright, you know what, chat? I'm getting tired. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting quite tired. I'm probably gonna call a day here. I am probably gonna end stream here. I can death loop like that one game, yeah. Um... <laughs> the beauty of Dying Light 1, look at it! So anyways, that's about it for today's stream. Thank you all for coming here today. Thank you all for supporting me, for coming back to stream for all, you know, not having uploaded anything for like three to four weeks now. Um... It's really nice to know that you guys are all still here for me, it's awesome. And that the algorithm hasn't killed my channel because of not doing that. So, as far as what else I'm, I'm going to be doing, tomorrow, Red Dead Redemption 2, and the day afterwards, two days from now, I'll be continuing this very series. I'll basically doing back and forth between RDR2 and this game, and this series right here. But anyways, thank you all for coming in today. Uh, big shout out to everyone coming in, of course, George, 50 subs and 20 dodo, big boy George there. Uh, I hope you all have a good day, good morning, midday, night, wherever you guys are, and uh, it's good to be back. See ya guys. And uh, make sure to use scissors when you cut your pizza. That's all I have to say. Bye bye. <laughs>